It's that time of the week once again. Welcome to the Departure Lounge Podcast with your host, Tom Whittle. Your ticket to the home of aviation podcasts and the home of the awesome game show Quizmas Jet. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Thank you to our channel member, Katie Price. Yes! <laughs> Just going to throw that in there and be like, yes! Uh, good evening, everybody. Welcome to... That was really camp. Let me start that again. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, the Departure Lounge podcast here on the Departure Lounge YouTube channel. And I hope you... You are well on this Sunday evening. Uh, we are here to as you can see literally just above my head but we've also got the graphic but i'll show that in a second we're here for the roast of lewis um for the uh, rate my liveries uh show which uh, i know a lot of people have been looking forward to quite a bit um so uh, we'll see see how we get on with it uh the hand the the, the pick of liveries tonight has been it surprised me so there's a, there's a few in there that i'll oh chef's kiss Mwah. perfect but we'll see see how we get on. Um, right, without further ado, let's uh, let's bring on the uh, the man. It's like like a mastermind type thing. You just need everything to like dumb down and then just have the spotlight focused on him, even though it is. Uh, oh God, no! Didn't it? oh, it's even worse. Oh. There we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lewis, a very good evening to you. How are you? Evening, all. Hi, Tom. Thanks for having me. I'm all good. good. Good stuff. I'm just going to answer a very quick question that's in the chat there from Carl saying, uh, no 1080p, Tom. Uh, no, because um, for that to happen, I have to pay £40 a month, and I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's bad enough what I'm paying now, <laughs> but I'm not paying £40 a month for uh, just for just for 1080p. So I'm not doing it. Um, so yeah, so there you go. Anyway, Lewis, um, how are your nerves for this evening? Um, I think your graphics is spot on savage sunday is going to be what we've got cooking for today i, I know there's uh some uh yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh some, you know uh, it's coming <laughs> oh yes uh yeah i think there are some lps uh mods on the chat rubbing their fingers at the moment and uh yeah looking forward to this one so but yeah it's gonna be fun looking forward to it nervous it's a mixture of nervous and fun didn't think i could exist but hey ho you know Yes, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I know there's a few people in the chat of uh, Wayne and, uh, like you say, the mods who have been relishing this opportunity to uh, uh, yeah, relishing the opportunity for you to. Uh... Oh, there is. Oh, that's interesting. There's two lots of uh, two lots of maxes in the chat. Oh, fascinating. Unless that's somebody else playing uh, playing silly beggars, but we'll, we we'll, we'll, let it, we'll let it slide for now. Mods will sort it out. It'll be fine. Right, let's get into a little bit of housekeeping then before we go into this evening's show. So um, we are on social medias. As you say, they are down the bottom uh, of the screen if you want to have a look at those. If you are lazy enough, then you can click on links that are in the description. Um, either or is not an issue. If you missed the flight stream, uh, flight sim stream last night, you'll have seen that we launched our latest range of, when it clicks, there we go, um, latest range of Pride merch just for this month only. 
um, there is, and I have checked this, twenty uh, percent off for the next forty-eight hours uh, for anybody that likes or what you know, likes what they see and wants to purchase one of these t-shirts or um, or mugs that we have going uh, just for this month um, because of Pride Month. So if you like that, uh, check it out. The link to the shop is in the description below, and uh, grab yourself one and twenty uh, percent off in the next forty-eight hours. Uh, if well, we have a Facebook group as well, the Departure Lounge Community Channel. If you want to share photos and videos of uh, yesteryear or uh, the the present day uh, stuff of aviation, or just want to share some thoughts, you can join that as well. Um, I'm sure somebody will put it in the uh, in the chat, no doubt. Um, but other than that, uh, if you want to be a guest on the show, just like Lewis, uh, we are looking for somebody to do the July version of Rate My Liveries. So. Uh, if anybody uh, is up for that and wants to sit in the hot seat, just like Lewis and everyone else that's uh, done so before him, uh, get in touch with us and uh, we'll get you on for uh, for next month's show. So, should we say hello to uh, to a few people uh, that are in the chat? Of course, all the mods are there. So, Ali Cat, Benny, uh, Debbie Thirteen, Michelle Johnson, uh, Caitlin is there. Apparently, quite a few Max Jet TV lives are there, which is, I mean, one's bad enough, but. <laughs> We've got more. Uh, Carl Crawford, good to see you. Sarah, good to see you again. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, Gail, good to see you. Uh, Welsh Kev, Katie Price, uh, Jack Rolls, always good to see you. When you're the right way up, of course. Mrs. Freddie Mercury, um, hello to you. Lynn Keeble, literally just trying to think of names here. Uh, Ethan, good to see you. Um, Chris, good to see you. Lots of names. Uh, Rob Brown, Plane Spotting, and Ian Meadows. Hello to you. Hello. Hi, everyone. And to everybody else that is in the chat. So, um, as I've shown already, it is, of course, Savage Sunday, the time that we play Rate My Liveries. If you have seen it before and you know how it works, you don't need to listen to this next bit. But if you have seen or haven't seen it before, rather, and uh, don't know what we're doing here, Lewis has handpicked 10 of his favorite liveries. Um, that he likes and we're going to show them on screen and you lot are going to be uh let run loose on them uh by critiquing them by them off hating them etc or you can also agree with lewis and say yeah actually that's not too bad and then i'll ask you for a rating out of 10 lewis will give his you lot will give yours and we'll see how far or how close you are to each other so oh, there you go <clears throat> right. Uh, Ian Meadows, uh, I'm just going to point that one out. He says he's been listening to Lily Allen after the chat that we had yesterday <laughs> where we were going through the songs and the albums and stuff. Very good. Very good. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Uh, right. Let's go on then with the first one. So Savage uh, at the ready. Here comes the first one from Lewis's own stream. The... Um, well, however you want to call it, LATAM or TAM. I always call it TAM because I don't like saying LATAM because I think it's weird. Um, but we'll go for it. LATAM's um, Star Wars Edge, this one, on there, Triple Seven yeah. 300. Lewis, why did you pick this? Beautiful. Come on. I mean, if you're, if you're going to be a, I suppose, uh, as a Star Wars fan, I'm going to be a little bit biased. But uh, there's been, what is it now? A couple of Star Wars liveries out there. Uh, we've got ANA, haven't we? Um, with the yep. uh, is it R2D2 one as well? Um, now retired, apparently, as well. Uh, no, so, sorry, not the, not the 787, but the 7, uh, 777s have been retired in terms oh, of the right. delivery. Yeah, I, yeah. I haven't seen it for ages, but <clears> yeah, this one, thankfully, it's still in <clears> circulation. <throat> I think this one and uh, really, really nice. I think they've done it uh, perfectly, it fits uh, the 777 really well. Um, the stormtrooper at the back, the stormtrooper at the front as well. The nose, this this um, picture doesn't really give it much. Unfortunately, what I've chosen, but the uh, the the nose is is uh, from if you look at it, it's fantastic. It's like a stormtrooper head on. Um, yeah, really nice, perfectly. And I just think I don't know what it is about the triple sevens, but the triple sevens are always a good canvas for a special livery. I don't know. That's just my sort of uh, feeling on it, but it seems to be just the right size. So you can do stuff onto it like that. And it's nice to see the Tam's gone away and, and put a lot of detail in it, which is quite nice. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those liveries where 
I mean, I'm not a mass. I'm not a massive fan at all of of Star Wars. I tried to watch one once and fell asleep. Um, that that's just me. But I I don't mind this too much because it's not it's not overpowering. There are some liveries out there that are done brilliantly, like A and A did. Um, yeah. I think. Um, uh, who else? There was another one. I'm yeah, I was trying to work out who it was now as well. I'm looking at it now. I should know because I've got the model of it literally sitting in front of me. Alaska. Alaska have done Alaska. it. <laughs> I, wasn't too, I knew it was an American one. I couldn't remember if it was Southwest or uh, or the other one. But yeah, Alaska, right. That was yeah, it. Alaska did it. United have done it as well um, mm. with the uh, the lightsabers on the tail of the, the different colors. Didn't, didn't someone do a C3PO one, I think? I can't remember. If that did was, I think that was A&A &A as well. Yeah, A&A &A as well, right. right. Yeah, I think that's the one that's been retired. I think they've, they've painted over it now, I think, in right. favor of the, the Dreamliners. But I couldn't remember who it was, but somebody mentioned that it uh, it gave off like Air New Zealand vibes. Um, and mm. I was like, okay, yeah, no, I can actually, I can sort it's of see It's the that. back, isn't it? It's the tail, which is kind of giving that, that sort of Air New Zealand vibe, isn't it? Yeah, definitely is. Yeah, definitely is um, a bit like it. But other than that, I, I don't have anything against it. I think it's uh, I think it's quite nice. Um, I mean, we were lucky enough on the show to catch that. That was cool. Uh, if I remember correctly... March time, I might be a little bit February now actually at Heathrow. Um, and it was just so happened to be a day where we were really lucky and caught, um, I think about six special liveries at that day all coming in. Uh, and for me, that one was my favorite mm. uh, of the day. It was, um, like I say, the picture isn't great. I mean, I, I don't, even though I, I'm a streamer, I don't really do great pictures. I'll put my hand up on it, but the, <laughs> the uh, you know, to see it in real life is, you know, really nice, and the, the quality of the detailing they've done on it, I think, is really good as well. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's a lot better than their standard livery, anyway. So yeah, I mean, I'll take it. Absolutely. So, yeah, <laughs> that's I mean, all yeah, I can. It's a bit absolutely. mundane, a Latam, isn't it? Really? <laughs> yeah, the old livery was fine. I didn't mind the the, the red, but um, yeah, it's it, it's a lot better than what they uh, what they've got as their livery now. But um. But yeah, so uh, this is the part now where I say, to, uh, where I ask Lewis to uh, just have a little think about out of 10 what you would give it. Um, and then you lot in the chat will tell me about your opinions of it, which you have done. So I'll read those out in a second uh, and then get your ratings out of 10. I've seen a few of them already on the chat. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, there's plenty to go through. Um, also, very quickly before I do that, uh, da, 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 where is it? Well, she has been a member for two months, so uh, thank you for your support. Says so got renewed for free thanks to whoever bought it. So, uh, well done, whoever that was. You are legendary. Uh, also, Nabil is here as well. Nabil Games, good to see you. I know he's still streaming Hi, at the moment. Yeah, I know he's still streaming at the moment on the flight sim. So, uh, yes, thank you for taking the time to pop in and say say hello right let's have a look um and see some of the comments i'll just take it off screen very quickly just while we do so um okay where do i start there's so many uh <laughs> don't know if that's a good thing <laughs> just trying to, i'm trying to get to a point where, where i'm like i don't want to read out too many but i'm gonna have to at this point <laughs> um all right uh forgive me chris I, I i'm not gonna try and pronounce your last name forgive me i don't want to butcher it, it says big star wars fan i that's so i'm biased galley spare chris galley spare so um cool. katie price is a big fan she says i like it love star wars um every, yeah, and everyone's just talking about <laughs> everyone's talking about star wars you knew they? it was going to be if you're a Pretty star much. wars fan I yeah. love it. it was a safe bet i thought <laughs> Uh, Darren Smith on the uh, flip side to that says, uh, "Teenage, nu uh, pfft, I haven't got the soundboard, so I can't play what I wanted to." Then, uh, <laughs> teenage mutant ninja <laughs> turtle vibes. Oh dear me, that's an insult. That's an insult, Darren. <laughs> uh, Benny says, "Oh, we can see the chat." <laughs> <laughs> yes, can. Oh yes, I can. <laughs> yeah, you can. Um, da, 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 da. hold on, hold on. I've gone probably. What's... I'm loving the fact the room's already divided. Michael's just said that on the Michelle sorry, just said that on there. The room's oh, yes. divided, already divided. And I think mm. it started off with low numbers and I'm starting to see it going up. I'm thinking, okay, right. The beauty of doing these shows, it it will divide a room and then bring mm. them back very quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um right, yeah. So lots uh, like I say, lots of people um with the sort of division of what they're doing, but um, Lewis, out of 10, please, for the first livery of the evening, the Star Wars livery. Uh, I'm going to go with an 8 out of an eight. 10 on this one. Um, 
it's still something special for me when you see it in real life. So it's just got that buzz for me. So yeah, eight for me. Eight out of 10. Good stuff. All right. Solid to start, which is uh, always good. Let's take that off screen there and let's have a look and see what the chat says. So numbers across. So let's go for, all right, let's go four. All right, Bruce, good to see you. Three out of 10, Disney overrated. I'm not surprised. (laughs) I always find that Bruce might be at times a little hard to please. but (laughs) (laughs) I've I've just seen Bruce's car. Jeez, Lewis, want to buy a car (laughs) to my eight. (laughs) Let's have a look and see what everyone else has put. Jim has put an eight out of 10, so agreeing with you. Debbie, 13 with a six. Michael Painter with a 7.5. Lynn Keeble with a four. Gail with an eight. Wayne's already gone in, so we're going to... Here we go, here we go. How low can it go? (laughs) Looks like it was graffitied by a bunch of Mexican teenagers. (laughs) Now, that's interesting, because on the chat, when we actually filmed this, he was like, oh, this is amazing. You know, funny, isn't it? (laughs) Yeah. He's been waiting for it just to get it out in the open and be like, oh, yeah, it's lovely. You wait till he's on stream. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Right, onwards with some more. Carl Crawford with a five. Gemma Rowe, good to see you. Hope you're well. Six out of ten. Uh, Chris uh, with a 9 out of 10 Ian Meadows 4 out of 10 no colour uh, well okay <laughs> well, ish, ish. but Stormtroopers uh, don't have colour I'm just no, well, going with Star Wars there but you know no there you go uh, Caitlin with a 7 well she cared for the 2 the Ooh. lowest one we've seen so far is well she cared for the 2 out of 10 oh dearie uh, me <laughs> Benny with an 8 uh, Katie Price with a 7 uh, Nicola Carter with a 3 uh, Ali Cat with an eight, uh, Sarah with a six, Lewis Chapman, <laughs> Lewis Chapman, four out of ten, Ball Wars. He says, We can tell who our uh, Star Wars fans are. Yes, you are, can't this we? is it. This is what I'm saying. It's it's one of those where it's it's going to divide people and it's going to start a war that I don't want to be a part of. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they don't do a Star Trek delivery. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. No, and also what I've learned is I've got a colleague at work that is into Star Wars, and if you call it Star Trek, he gets very annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> so we wind him up with it. Um, right, good stuff. There you go. If you have, like I said, if you haven't seen it already, <clears throat> this is in particular, uh, in particular how it works. So we're going to move on to. Uh, well, that uh, wasn't bad to be honest. Oh, wasn't yeah, it wasn't bad yeah, to start with. I, I fear it could get worse. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it's it going could to get, get a lot worse. worse. Yeah. Um, beer we have, you know. <laughs> item number two for this evening. One of my oh. personal favorites, so I'm so glad you picked this. Um, it is the Alaska Airlines More to, more love, to love delivery on their A321 yeah. Neo. Why'd you pick so, it? I believe this is the merge, wasn't it, with um Virgin America when Alaska had the merge. So, um, really, they did the sort of fusion of the two liveries together, and it looks beautiful. I realized in my list when I f- was going firm, I didn't have many American ones. And that wasn't because obviously mm-hmm. uh, I forgot. It I, well, I did forget in one point. And I thought to myself, what was the one who are normally good? And Alaska. I know Southwest do some really nice liveries, but Alaska really do some nice liveries. And I think the A321 fits this livery perfect because it's just long enough to see the different shades of color. Um, I don't think it would justify it in a, Airbus A320 or something smaller, um, you know, it, it's it's just the perfect aircraft for it. And uh, it's a nice sort of merge of the two, and uh, you see it in a delivery. They also have it on a 737 as well, which looks really, really nice. I didn't know that. Yeah, right. there's a, they've, they've done it on two aircraft. The 737 looks fantastic as well. Mm, um, not seen that before. But it's, uh, yeah, when you get a chance, have a look. It's Because oh. I, I was looking for a picture. Um, and um, I looked at it and I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot they do a 737. Yeah, I didn't know that at all. Did not know that What will be, be interesting um, about, and I, maybe this factors into it, I don't know, but what is interesting is there has been news that's come out recently that Alaska Airlines are looking to retire the A321neo already. Really? Wow. They are okay. indeed, because wow. they, um, they're, they used to belong to Virgin America. Yes. And they... Um, are they leased? I can't remember if they were leased or not. I, I don't know if they're leased, but they're looking to get rid at the moment for the 737. So they want to stick with 737, which is why they wow. have got rid of 
the is that um, moving the over to the maxes then or, or uh... Poss- poss- well they've got i think they've got maxes in the fleet i'm sure mm. they do but i would imagine that's what they'll stick with because really obviously you know the the acquisition or i think it was that they, they went under did they or something like virgin america did they go i can't under, remember they now. Get I think more, they were more bought out wasn't it bought out, i think so yeah. obviously you know alaska have always mainly had american built aircraft yes. so yeah. Yeah. to have airbus in the fleet and what's what's bizarre about it and again, you could literally talk about this for an entire show. Is that the Neo is? I'm trying. To, I'm going to see if I can get this right. The Neo costs less to run than the 737, yes, but yeah. they are looking to get rid of it. And it's yeah, that seems it's really, really very strange. Yeah. Very yeah. very strange. Yeah, especially in and you know, obviously the cost of uh, fuel is now, and uh, obviously everything is uh, efficient and as much efficiency as possible. I'm really surprised, that, especially with well, I might be a little bit biased here. I'm, I'm, I do like an Airbus, um, <clears> but I do like both. Well, I, there are Boeing aircraft I do like, but I always find this decade Airbus is just knocking the competition out of park with Boeing mm. when it comes to the models avail- available, and especially with the Neo, um, Boeing seems to be sort of playing catch up with the Neo, and uh, really surprised about that, actually that an airline's choosing. Yeah you know to to drop it first one i think first one I was I, say, uh, i've not heard many airlines retiring a neo you know no not already i mean i always go into this little thing uh where it's like <clears throat> you you see this like news article going oh the, the first flight of the brand new a320 neo and then you think about it and it's like they've actually been around for a lot longer mm. than i thought <laughs> yeah they have yeah and then you see yeah. the like especially that like dreamliner and stuff there was something that went around on the uh on the internet um of of tui getting like one 10 years ago and i was like where did that go like where's that time gone mm. <laughs> like soon we'll be seeing them starting to you yeah. know be scrapped and everything else so it's 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 mental just yeah. crazy how quickly yeah, time goes right have a think about this one lewis um and i will have a look and see what the chat says it's more positive than negative so you'll be quite happy to know that <laughs> not Star Wars. Thank- thankfully <laughs> thankfully um right let's have a look um Okay, so we'll start off with Lynn Keeble, who is a massive fan. Um, <clears throat> massive fan of this one. Katie Price, also a big fan of this thing. That is gorgeous. It really, really is. Mm. Um, Jim says it looks like a Zoom ice lolly. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ian Meadows with a very interesting comment saying it's trying to be a Peter Max but f- and failing miserably. I think that's a bit harsh. So Peter Max being the old Continental Triple Seven livery that was, you know, lot we had it on the show the other day. Oh, I think Jack picked it when he was on last, and people were divided. They were like, "Oh, this side's better than that side," or, um, you know, it it looks nice or it doesn't look nice sort of thing. I don't, I can't see Peter Max in that. I can't see that Continental livery in this. No, no. So I think that's a slightly harsh, but it's an opinion, so it's fine. Um, other than that, lots of people. Um, yeah, lots of people really, really enjoying it. Uh, Michelle Johnson was like you, didn't know it was on the 737. Um, yeah, yeah lots of people. Yeah. yeah, lots of people really, really enjoying this. Um, okay, so uh, out of 10 then, please, for the uh, Alaska More to Love livery. Um, I'm going to give this one a 9. 9 out of 10. We're going yeah. up slowly. But uh, 9 out of 10. Good, good shout. Definitely worth a nine, I think, for me. Like, I'm I'm looking to get it in model form, and there is a particular one which I yeah. don't have a picture of yet, but I will get before the end of that, the show. That would be nice as a model, wouldn't it? It'd be. I mean, I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure there is one out there already. Someone will. I mean, Wayne will probably tell me what model it is and <laughs> how much it is, how how big it is. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> everything else. Just listen carefully. His wallet's already shaking. Um, <laughs> and his bank manager's already crying. <laughs> I don't have the sound effects to do it. God damn it. All right. Uh, let's have a look at what uh, some people have put here. Let's start with Farring Travels. Uh, going with a full 10 out of 10 on that one. Then we have Nicola Carter with a 9. Uh, and then lots Man. of people with 10s. Well, she came with a 10. Ali Cat with a 10. Lynn Keeble with a 10. Debbie with a 10. 
Uh, Caitlin going 100 out of 10, so good choice. Um, Gemma we'll Rowe. Make up for those scores that Wayne's going to do later, so that's good. Wayne will come in with like one. Yeah, minus. <laughs> I've been told not, minus is coming, so don't worry. Minuses are coming. <laughs> I think I know which one for as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, Steve, good to see you. Nine out of 10 from him. Oh, Wayne Hi, does Steve. say seven. He gives a seven, generous seven. I'll take that. I think yeah, that's, that's decent good. enough. That's yeah, decent. I like it. Definitely. Uh, decent. Benny with an eight. Carl Crawford with a 10. Katie Price with a 10. Uh, Gemma Rowe with a nine. Uh, Max with a 20 out of 20. That's just how good his vision is. Um, <laughs> Doesn't need glasses. <laughs> supposedly. <laughs> uh, Rob Brown, six. Uh, Gail with a 10. Uh, Still lots of 10s. Jack Rolls with a 10. Good choice on this one. Ian Hartley with an eight. Uh, it's a good looking plane. Ian's another one that's very difficult to please at times with models. So, yes. Uh, Lewis Chapman has beaten Wayne to it by saying that NG models have got one out already. So, I'll be having a look at that after the show. <laughs> I think Wayne's also mentioned Gemini's done this model. Gemini's well. done it in 1 200 and 1 400. Yeah. Oh, see, now the 1 200 is calling. Yeah, I, I wouldn't, I'm like not idiot. surprised that it's not been done as a, a, you know, it's been done as a model because it is nice. And I, I would imagine that's quite popular as well. Mm. Very popular. Bruce says 20 is Max's IQ. <laughs> That's mean. That is mean. <laughs> That's so mean. Uh, Ken, uh, sorry. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Ian Meadows says Gemini 1200. That'll be about £100. Probably not far off, actually, especially with the price hike at the moment as well, which is why I'll stay clear of 1200. Uh, Wayne saying NG have also done the 7372. Good shot. I have to look at 737 up. I didn't realize they did it. Uh, I want to say it's on the 900. Might be wrong. I'm just going with what I what I can. I think I can remember. I think it's the 900. Someone will correct me, I'm sure. Right. Uh, so, yeah, good Good start. Good start. Um, yeah. you, you managed to bring the run back, which is always always well, a positive. Yeah, well, I think it's going downhill soon. <laughs> not yet, it's not. There's a, <laughs> no. got a couple here that I think will will be... You know, especially this next one, we'll, uh, we'll we'll have some fans in the chat, no doubt. Again, off of one of your streams, the one that still eludes me that I cannot see for the life of me because every time I go to Heathrow or somewhere nearby, <sighs> it just it 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 comes in whether the day I arrive or the day I leave, and it doesn't come in anywhere else. <laughs> it's just yeah, we we I've been very lucky. With this one really really lucky um you know it's uh many times i've been catch trying to catch it I've, I've caught other ones i've got quite a few now especially livery i think is it three other uh a380 liveries that uh, emirates do but this one is my favorite uh mainly because also i quite liked the advert they done um oh yes obviously the one which is where uh, she was on top of the uh, Burj Khalifa, um, and uh, that was a stunning. Uh, I don't know if you ever saw the um, what one was it? Now it's the behind the scenes uh, video they put on YouTube as well, and how they done it. Amazing to watch, and you know, credit to her because I don't think I'd have the guts to to stay on <laughs> that high distance at all. But uh, it's beautiful. It's uh, it's colourful. Uh, and I think it, it, it I, I like the fact that it links into the story of Destination Dubai and the advert, um, which is really nice to see. Um, there was there was a comment that I've just had a, a text message from Ian um, that I've missed, so I just want to uh, literally <laughs> just mention it. Um, he he mentioned that I hadn't seen it twice, but. Going back to the Alaska one very quickly, he said, uh, I think Tian likes it too, but Alaska. Tom, I'm so sorry. Can I give, put a mop for one minute? My door is going. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah, go for it. I'll just, I'll take you off screen. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, Ian's joke was, uh, I think Tian likes it too, but Alaska. Very good. That has got me giggling inside. I'm not going to lie. Alaska. Very good. I like it. Uh, yeah, STTV Live. Chris, good to see you. Hope you're well. Thank you for popping in. Lots of, I mean, this this particular livery has been suggested quite a few times. Um, 
yeah, it's it's been suggested quite a few times. It's obviously massively loved by a lot of people. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> back. Back. Uh, Darren Smith saying, "Where has his door gone?" <laughs> <laughs> Front door is playing up. Man. <laughs> Very, good. Very good. Benny says the fan club's arrived for you. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, I I mean it's it, I think it's one of the I may be wrong. It was one of the first, um, specially painted A three eighties, if I'm correct. Yeah, uh, I think. think. It, what are you trying to think uh, now? No, I think what? there was another one, wasn't there? I can't remember which one it was. The one with the um, wasn't the eye? Is it the eye? I can't remember which one it is now. Oh, the journey to the future. Yeah, wasn't that? Oh, I see. Was that, yeah, was, yeah. Oh, I can't remember now. I don't because the advert's only been out for is it a year now or two years? Something like that. I'm sure this came first though than the the journey. Oh, well, right. I'm sure it did. I'm but, sure. It, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's it did. Absolutely beautiful though. It's. Uh, I, I mean, I I like the other ones. I do, but mm. it, it, it's not a scratch on on this really. No. Isn't. Um, Gemma Rowe is exactly like me. That's one I'm still waiting to see. Off to Manchester for a couple of days spotting in a couple of weeks. So fingers crossed, not been able to get over since breaking my leg a year ago. Ouch. Hopefully, I fingers I, crossed, you'll get it. I've got this also. Um, uh, it wasn't a live stream. It was when I first, uh, a couple of years back uh, at Zurich, I think, it came in. Um, but uh, other than that, I was just lucky to get it at Heathrow, really. Mm. They, they they do move it to different uh, destinations all the time. I don't think it's ever been to Gatwick yet, but um, yeah, well, that might be a lie. I think it has. Oh, yeah. has it? I, the, the, oh, I've right. seen um, <clears throat> I've seen a couple of people. Or, or I've got people on my friends list who are um, Gatwick spotters, and mm. um, they have posted pictures of it going into Gatwick. I, I mean, Ian Meadow says, you know, come to Manchester. It's here every every other week. But if I go up there, it ain't turning up. So <laughs> it's not turning up. It's one of those one of those ones that I will just not. Yeah, I will not be able to. Uh, yeah, not be able to to see for for a while. Um, well, Chris has just said it's been at uh, Gatwick six times now. Wow, that's six times, uh, yeah, six wow. times. Yeah, lots of people saying it's been to Gatwick. Uh, Chris, thank you very much for the super chat as well. Um, saying video game video game controller evolves into a muscled version of itself under the word level plus okay fair enough <laughs> we'll go for it thank you very much for the uh for the for the uh super chat much appreciated of course if you want to get involved as well with super chats you can do so uh, as well um right have a think uh about what you'll give that out of 10 let's have a look and see what the people in the chat have said i've seen a few people saying a couple of negative things about it i think um i think well she uh well, she Kev, I think, was the one that said it's boring. We need to move on with uh, the next one, I think. I'm sure that's what he said. Yeah, there we go. Um, he says, when it shows up, fed up uh, fed up with this livery now. Next, please. Interesting. Mm. Also, Ken G. Uh, thumbs down, only because it's an A380. Yeah, well, Ken doesn't like A380. <laughs> we know that. Fair enough. Uh, Jim has also never liked the livery. Which is interesting. Uh, I call it the Smarties plane, and uh, Jack saying that Nestle need to sponsor this beauty. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, a lot of I'm surprised by the amount of people that don't like it. Farang travels, Ooh. I hate it, and I've flown it many times. Wow, fascinating. Uh, Ian Mahoney missed it at Heathrow today. Of course, it'd go into Heathrow. Like, <laughs> well, I'm not there. Uh, <laughs> um, but did buy a model. Very good. Which one did you buy? Let us know, uh, Steve. White cargo door lets this down from scoring higher. We 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 have a thing on the channel. We call it the cargo door because it just that's what it looks like, even though it's the the sign that she's holding. Um, it just looks like a cargo door. It's not um, a position, to be fair, as well. Yes, yeah. Um, other than that, yeah. Well, she kept saying again, boring. Um, Faring travels hates the the eye livery even more. <laughs> yeah, I have to say, I'm not a massive fan of the eye livery. Um, mm. because it is pretty basic to the Emirates one mm. as well. <clears throat> but yeah, this one's a little bit different for me. Uh, Ian Hartley says, never get bored of this livery. It never fails to turn heads. It caught its inaugural flight to Manchester. Stunning livery. He did. So he's seen it and I haven't, and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's one of those aircrafts when 
I mean, everyone sort of gets the phone out when an A380 comes in, mm. but it gets when you're at Heathrow or wherever, you, it, it always picks up a crowd and everyone just realizes, oh, this is a different A380 and then gets the phone out video. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a crowd pleaser, uh, generally, maybe not on the chat at the moment from what we've just gathered, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's one of my favorites of the A380s. Mm. There's quite a few, there's a couple of A380 liveries out there, which are pretty decent, but we don't have a lot of special liveries and this one's pretty nice to have. Very quickly, your thoughts on the new livery. We saw it um, two weeks ago, I think. Mm. It came into Heathrow. I quite like it. Um, it's the little <laughs> details I like. The tail's really nice. Um, the I always forget if they're shartlets or winglets now. I can't remember what, which one's Boeing and which one's Airbus, but the little tip of the wings are really detailed as well on that. Mm. It's nice. It is a nice um, livery. Uh, and I think it's it's not distant too much to the original um mm -hmm. which i quite like that they haven't gone too far because you've got as many airlines who have just gone for the bog standard white and logo and you know i was a huge disappointment to see Aer Lingus when they changed it um, yeah I, I was the same as you i think i was a little bit disappointed to start with but the more i see it the more me. it's now yes, i'm like actually i'm saying this every day on the on the show actually and yeah. i'm saying to the guys so this is growing on me but it's just not there yet it's just not there for me but uh um, yeah, i quite like it I, I quite like it i think what they've done is they've done it well by they've only changed it was it now three times in the last mm. well, it, well 40 odd years since mm. they introduced their first livery so there's only like minor tweaks which is fantastic they haven't gone yes, down they the don't do big changes do they emirates they do, i think it looks tweaks. there's a triple seven that's painted in it and i think it looks oh, okay. very nice on the triple seven that would be um, nice. i've not seen it in triple seven yeah. it's, it's very very nice on the triple seven very nice because if any uh, also looks good as well only done a couple of months ago haven't they you haven't it's not been out that long yeah, it's only recent yeah it's mm. only recent um michelle johnson asking the question of which is the best model maker to buy of this beauty you are going to be spending far too much money uh by by watching us i'm sure um but i would probably probably go for and i can't show it because i've actually got it in its box at the moment and it's i think it's under my bed um gemini jets i would say probably have the best version of it but you'd probably be looking at about rough guess rough guess on this one probably about somewhere between 55 and 65 quid for it uh you can buy the little snap together versions which are also quite good um depending on if they're in stock or not on various different retailers um that will cost you about 25 quid so depending on what you want to do with that sort of thing but yeah you can um yeah just have a have a nosy and uh, see which one comes up on there um right okay so let's um <clears throat> Let's uh, get your rating then um, out of 10 for the uh, Expo livery. Yep. So I'm going to give this one a seven for me. <sighs> okay. Seven out of 10. Uh, so gone down a little bit, but not too much and still quite respectable. Yeah. I think it's still, it it's, uh, deserves above the five mark. So yeah, seven for me. Seven. All right. No worries. In the words of Len Goodman, uh, seven. seven. <laughs> <laughs> not that i watch it it's just when when they announced the news that he had uh, passed away that was all yeah. they showed seven so <laughs> good west Ham fan he was as well yeah, that'd be rude not to do it um <laughs> right let's get the ratings in so um let's have that back up and we'll go for katie price five out of ten Ooh. um let's have a look here michelle johnson with lots of tens so big, big fan. Um, Ian Mahoney says 65 quid is what it will cost today. So I'm spot on with the pricing. I don't claim to be an expert. I'm just roughly guessing. <laughs> just roughly guessing. Um, Ian Hartley, I, I mean, again, I'm surprised no one else has done this yet. A 3.8 out of 10, 3 .80 out of 10 for me. I've, I've missed you in the chat, Ian, honestly. Uh, <laughs> Um, Michelle Johnson with a 10. Faring Travels with a 4. Wayne with a 10 out of 20. <laughs> Just to be a little bit awkward. <laughs> well done. Um, Darren Smith with a 380 out of 1,000. Um, going further up. Um, Max with a 10. Sarah with a 7. 
Uh, Carl with a nine, Chris with an eight, Ian Meadows with a nine, Rob Brown with a four, Gemma Rowe with a ten, Ken G with a one, Ooh, <laughs> um, ten. Gail with a ten, Lynn Keeble with a six, uh, Michael Painter eight point five. Yeah, good stuff. It 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 splits the room a little yeah, bit. I'll take it, man. It's not, not too a bad. bad it's not a bad score. Not too bad. Oh, Ian's gone for a serious one now. He's got eight out of ten. Thank you, Ian. Eight out of ten. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Very happy. Good All so right. far. So from the expo to uh one of the favorites. I'm, I'm, I don't think he's watching either, which would be a shame because he's a massive fan of this, and I am too. The uh the play livery, the, oh, uh, the Icelandic it. airline on the A320 Neo, which uh I have had the wonderful pleasure of seeing after um being out of breath from leaving my spot at Stansted to realizing it was taxing out and running the whole way back. <laughs> so footage of it is very shaky because I'm out of breath from all the running. Um, but it's a stunning livery, especially in the sun. I mean, it is one of those eye-catching liveries. Iceland are always very good, no matter yeah. what airline it is, yeah. whether it yeah, it's, was, uh... whether it's play. Uh, oh, you know, wow, they had that purple sort of livery iceland air special livery no matter which airline it is they've always got a very very good livery and one that will always catch you uh or catch catch your eye in particular and play is no different uh so uh lewis why did you pick this one um i love seeing this at stansted um it's it's different it, it's completely different to obviously when you go to stansted majority of the time you're going to see a Ryanair, you're going to see an EasyJet as much as do like the liveries of those, um, preferably more of the EasyJet ones than the, the Ryanair one but this is just, you know it's coming it, it makes it an entrance I think the name, the livery is perfect for the name, it's fun it's it's in your face um, and They've, it's rare to see a low cost airline go for a livery, livery like this because obviously most low cost airlines are, are granted there are a few in America which do them, but not over in Europe. Uh, mm. they, they stick <clears throat> to the sort of basic white plain logo colors because obviously it's cheap, everything's cheap, you know, everything's done for a cost, isn't it? And the more paint you have, it does burn a lot more fuel. So the fact that we've gone for a dark colour uh, and a bolder colour like Play has done, this red, this rosy red, um, you know, top marks to them for me. It's everyone gets excited. Um, obviously, I, we're, we're part of uh, Stanford Play Watch and we do Saturday um, uh, shows where we get to go airside. Um, and uh, you really do get to see uh this up close and it is beautiful um that it, it, there's another picture which took previously where you see it head on and it's fantastic because it's also got the sort of airbus neo zoro mask oh on the mask the, i was just about to ask you about that about what you thought about the mask or did I you see it here on this picture I, I love the masks in the on the airbuses it's brilliant um and you don't really see a lot of them on the um a320s you see some on a321s but don't get a lot of them they don't use to emphasize them a lot on the A320s. So to see them on this, brilliant. Mm. Love it. Yeah. An another one that sort of splits the room. I'm I'm reading the comments there. Oh, yeah, I'm being, reading the comments as well. Yeah. I put Bruce's one on there because I I, I figured, hey, who's going to be the one to say anything about it? And oh boy, Bruce has not let you me know, down. <laughs> saying he'd have to, I'm going to bring it up again. He said, I'd have to stick a four in front of the play logo. <laughs> Honest to God, like I, I knew what someone had to do it. I didn't know. Well, yeah, I expected it. Pass my no, it's not pass my Very good, very good. <laughs> and then you got well, she kept asking, "Does it require batteries?" <laughs> <laughs> and the less said about that, the better. Well, I think the uh, the A three twenty one. You'll be saying that because it's slightly longer. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about length, you know. Uh, it's all about the girth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, what have, what has this turned into? Uh, <laughs> right, let's have a look and see what people have put. Uh, Darren Smith says they stole the uh, stole the livery from the Swiss Air Ambulance Learjets. Um, well, she kept also going for it's missing the three letter uh, uh, three letter word after it, boy. <laughs> uh, Gemma Rowe 
saying uh, I saw some of the play play. Ooh, that's a mouth mouthful there. I saw some of the play planes at Reykjavik when I went to Iceland last year. Easy to catch color, but a bit plain, so not a massive fan. They do this in the A330 as well. I keep forgetting about that because they've got an A330 of this and it, it looks really nice as well. But I do like the smaller. The, what of uh, this? Of the play yeah, livery? Yeah, I think they, they, I'm pretty sure they're doing it. I'm going to have to get Is it a play or is it the, the, the old uh, wow? No, I'm pretty sure. It's not, I'm pretty certain I've seen it in play. Uh, A330 and play. Interesting. A330. Okay. Um, so, wrong, ben. Hang on. No, no wow had A330s. No, I am wrong. Apologies. I thought they did. I don't know when I was going through this. I thought I saw it in the A330. I'm looking, I can see on my window still, I've got the old WOW A321. So I'm like looking at that and going, it, it's virtually the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's virtually the same thing. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Let's, uh, let's bring us back up on screen and let's keep going through the chat here. Let's have a look. Uh, Sarah's not a fan of it. Um, uh, just, just for Max, if you could uh, just answer, he says, uh, where was that being caught? Oh, it's your screenshot. Uh, this one, Stansted. Stansted? Yeah. Ian Meadows says it's at Liverpool every week. Soon you'll get sick of it. <laughs> I can see a trend happening here with Ian saying you get sick of everything. Um, except for Lily Allen, of course. Uh, Bruce says, um, as Bruce would, I bet it vibrates as it takes off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bruce. Lots of love, honey, comments as well. Oh, boy, I'm so glad we picked I'm, it. I'm hoping <laughs> that's a 10 out of 10 from Bruce. <laughs> oh, the big 10 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> We know where he's been looking on the internet today. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, very good. Very good, everybody. Um, also, uh, one that made me chuckle that I'm I'm hoping is still there was from Ian Hartley, who says... There we go. Just bring it up on screen. Not for me, minging out of 10. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Got away with words, is Ian, I must admit. <laughs> Michelle says Bruce is on form tonight. He's on form every night. I was like, just going to say, when isn't he? <laughs> every stream that you see him in, he's always on form, bless him. Good stuff. All right. Uh, so out of 10 then, please, um, Lewis, for the play livery. All right. I'm going to go with a 7.8 on this one. Okay. I can't make my mind up over an 8 and 7.5. I'm going to go 7.8. Okay. So quite quite a solid one. I'd I'd go for eight personally myself. I think it's I just I like it. I'm more one of these people that I like a bit of colour when it comes to like liveries and stuff. So would you if, prefer that in the A three twenty one or the A three twenty? Um do, do you know I'd say three twenty. Really? So I I, I, I think three twenty because like I you say, it is literally. Stretch, it's a bit too much sort of red. I, I think that's bit. what it is. The, the yeah. 321 being the length that it is, mm -hmm. there's there's not much between the, yeah, the titles at the front and then the back of the plane. I think this is kind of this is enough, I mm. think. But um mm. yeah, I think I think it's enough. Um all right, so there you go. Let's have a look um and see what people have put. We are gonna go for Nicola Carter. Um, she's gone for a six out of ten, a bit plain. <laughs> um, but no, six out of ten for that one. Then we have Katie Price with a one. <laughs> oh, Katie. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Uh Gemma Rowe, a two, Rob Brown Ooh. a three. Oh, I can feel uh, the yeah, this is massively. Yeah, this has not gone well. Mm. <laughs> Benny with a two, Ali Cat with a three. You think you um, know people, eh? Michelle Johnson going with a ten. Thank you. So at least we have that. Yeah. Farring travels with a ten. Darren Smith with a one. Caitlin with a two. Also apologising. Oh, Caitlin. Gail with a five. Darren Graham Photography. Good to see you. Hope you're well. A two. I mean, this has not gone down well at oh, all. I mean, I'm sure we've had this on here before, and a lot of people have liked it, but. Uh, Chris uh, with a one as well. Jack rolls ten out of ten, playing it safe. Uh, bring protection. I've seen it. I've just seen one of the comments. I've seen one uh, of the scores. Okay, which one is it? Uh, begins with a W. In the use of modern here. Ah, uh, where is it? Where is, is it? Top? He's done it. Have I missed it? We've got a zero out of ten. Oh, you got a zero. Oh, is it from Wayne? Yeah, we got a Wayne. We got there Wayne. It is. Score. I've Wayne seen score. It. That's what we've got. <laughs> there it is. Big fat oh. 0 out of 10. Well, you know, 
why play? That's all I'd say. Why play beer to you, Wayne? Uh, Gemma Rowe says, I did apologize for my two out of ten. Still, yeah, still, still hurts. Still harsh, though, Gemma. Still hurts. <laughs> <laughs> still hurts. <laughs> oh, still hurts. <laughs> All I'm right. going to see this differently now. I'm going to see this all differently on a Saturday. It's going to yeah. be, I can't believe like, people think this. You're, you're, <laughs> I you're still going live, it. you just be like, hi, everyone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I haven't forgotten what you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting next one. <laughs> you want to see airplanes, do you? Well, that's yeah, tough. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I get to watch them. You get to watch the grass. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> What's that? Oh, Play God. A320 coming in. You ain't getting to see it. <laughs> yeah, it's that special livery. Well, I'll be the only one to enjoy this. <laughs> Seeing as none of you did. <laughs> oh, dearie me. All uh, right, let's move on to uh, another one. One that I am super, super happy that you uh, that you, you brought up. Again, may possibly divide everybody. Yeah, it's making me nervous now. I was, I was confident yep. at the beginning, and now I've gone back this to nervousness. <laughs> This is what you can't prepare for. You don't Ooh. know which way the crowd is going to go, and it's gone massively downhill very quickly. Mm. So let's bring them up. Uh, let's bring up this one then. It's a JMC. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> JMC Jack Air Jack on their DC10. <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, this is a nostalgia one for me because uh, I flew with them going to Cyprus a few times. Um, it was the 757. I have never seen. Um, but DC 10, we were having this discussion before, weren't we, about where it flew into? But, um, and I never meant to see it, I never got to see it, which is a, a shame. Um, but I, it, it's just, it's that early 2000 vibe for me. Uh, it's similar to sort of Air 2000, isn't it? Um, but it's a really nice, I used to love flying with JMC, they were a quirky airline. Um, I think what I can't remember who they were bought up, but they were bought up by um one of the tour operators, weren't they? In the end, I can't remember who it was, but I'm not a huge fan. I've never liked, and this is going to be controversial here, I appreciate it. I'm never a massive fan of the DC 10, I prefer the MD 11. But oh, that I'm sorry, more. I still maybe that's gonna, that's gonna yeah. backfire on the old um, uh, you know, the the scores but oh, i've not even gotten over Gemma's comment yet <laughs> sorry, you just hit me with that <laughs> i just always found the dc10 a bit of a risky life sort of plane sort of thing it was to begin with it, <laughs> it was, was to begin with it was it was a sort of uh, mcdonald douglas style of uh oh you know whoever makes us a profit sort of thing um uh but it is nice and the the, the tail's really nice in that color with the jmc granted it's a little bit fluorescent but I just it, it gives me the two thousand vibes. It's a That's sort of thing, though, isn't it? Style, isn't it's gonna, it? Be nice really? but... <laughs> gonna be nice and bright. I I, I quite like it. I like um, it. Obviously, really they had the the DC ten in this, the seven five seven, a three twenties, um, and a three thirties. If I haven't said that already, <laughs> I've just seen Ian's comments. <laughs> this I've seen laugh. all the comments, and <laughs> everyone's left the room and gone for a cigarette or a drink <laughs> or. <laughs> <laughs> Or whatever they're choosing to do for the next couple of minutes. Yeah. I mean, you know Maybe bad. that's the wrong thing for me to do, but I guess it's gone back to memory lane really here. You you know it's bad when people are literally getting up to leave. <laughs> oh dear. But now nice. sod this. I've I've got I'm, I'm gonna gonna have a drink or something. <laughs> I've just got your whiskey. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Wow. Okay. Well. We know what you think. We know what I think about it. I, I do like this livery. I do. I like the greens. So hate me if you like. Um, <laughs> um, let's have a look and see what people have uh, put. Although it's going to be quite something. That's uh, Michelle Johnson. <laughs> I think kicks it off quite nicely with way. Uh, oh, I know. Forgive that. Uh, forgive that. Forget that rather. Ignore that. That's for a comment for Wayne. Uh, Jack saying just melon catchers that love that aircraft. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Uh, Ken G says, interesting colours. Katie Price. Oh, that's horrible. Throwing up emoji. <laughs> oh, dear. Dream 350. I curse the day Caledonian became JMC. Yeah, yeah. They... Darren Smith. Abortion of a livery. Terrible mess. <laughs> <laughs> that is, oh, that. That's a harsh comment, man. <laughs> I haven't seen a comment like that since uh, since Jack was on the show. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, Bruce says, uh, "Is the in-flight food kebabs?" 
Uh, Caitlin's not a fan of the uh, color combination. Uh, Rob Brown, on the flip side, likes it. Defo, old school tune, and it's that, a DC-10. It Ooh, la la. Yeah. yeah. Ali Cat, very simply saying, snotty tail. <laughs> <laughs> um, Katie Price saying, Lewis, you need your eyes tested again. <laughs> <laughs> I am due to go back. <laughs> <laughs> Ian Meadows, uh, if as the deplanes. That's the one I loved. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it till now. All I can see now is just an as the plane. <laughs> Gemma Rowe has made up for the hurt for the last one, saying, uh, I like this one. was well before I got into plane spotting, but I wish I could see something like this uh, now. Makes up for it. So I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm over yeah. the comment from the last Definitely. time. Just just about. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jack Roll saying, I think I need a Westerns to drown this out. Don't you touch that Western, boy. The worst thing you can do. Sniff it and you get pissed already. Um... Max Jet TV Live, being a millennial, says, uh, is that the new livery by any chance? This airline doesn't exist anymore, Max. Um, time, this Max. is a livery right. that, was, that was out whilst you were a mere speck in the nutsack of life. <laughs> You're just a twinkle in your dad's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, glad, <laughs> I'm so glad you said I then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you said I. <laughs> I was one, wondering where that was going. Um, for those that uh, can recall... Um, Ian can, uh, Ian's asking where did JMC fly to? They were obviously like a um, uh, like a uh, leisure yeah. operator, a bit yeah, like they were mainly package holidays. So I mean, we used to do package holidays to Cyprus and uh, Greece. So yeah, they uh, they were the same competition to Tui or or the others. Mm. We used to go to quite a few destinations though uh, to. <laughs> Uh, quite a few long haul ones as well. North America, uh, Barbados, I think it was as well. Um, yeah, quite a few. Carl Crawford, hold on a minute. Tom, you need to go spec savers, honestly. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Why am I having to go? Just because I like it. <laughs> oh, they are brutal, aren't they? Just <laughs> Even I'm getting it. Someone yeah. messaged me. Who was it that messaged me? Someone messaged me saying, "Oh, you know, at, you know, at least uh, it stops you getting roasted." I said, "Yeah, for at least one week." Well, that went out the window, didn't it? <laughs> Bloody hell! <laughs> I don't know what I've done either. <laughs> I've only put it on screen. I've got to go spec savers. Apparently. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Goodness me! All right, have a think about the rating for this one. Um, in fact, no, we did that already. So, yeah, if you have your rating then for the... Uh, yeah, the so I'm, I'm going to go in the middle of this one. So I'm actually going to go for a five on this one. Yeah, I, I've, I've chosen this more for nostalgic sort of vibes, but... I like it. Yeah, I'm going shot. for a five. I, I do like it, um, but it's just reminded of my childhood. So what? Stop roasting me. It's not me. It's not me. <laughs> I've just seen Bruce's comment. It's not me. I'm not the one picking these. <laughs> Bruce, <laughs> bring it up. Oh, Shane. brilliant! Tom went to spec savers the other day and bought two pork chops. <laughs> Why am I getting roasted? <laughs> oh, brilliant! Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks. Oh dear. Honestly, literally, I'm only putting it on screen and saying that I like it as well, and I'm getting judged. Never mind, it's fine. It's all right. It's what we're here for. Oh, I'm going to go to bed crying today. Are we in this? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm going to be crying too, not with laughing, I'm going to be <laughs> physically crying. Like, I'd never buy pork chops at a spec savers. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, All you. right, let's go on to the next one very quickly. I don't even want to show anyone else's <laughs> ratings now. Shouldn't you know, have to go for the ratings anymore, you know. That's no, it. no, it's true. I don't want <laughs> yeah, to do next it. one. I don't want to do it. We're getting the show here, everyone. Um, <laughs> well, it's been great. Thanks for having me, Tom. <laughs> really, you guys, I'm going home. <laughs> Oh, dear. No, let's very quickly do it. Let's quickly go through them, even though they are going to be a lot of negatives. Uh, Caitlin going to kick it off with a 0.05 out of 10. Ian Meadows on the flip side with a 10 out of 10. At least somebody agrees. Thank Maybe you. Ian's got to go spec Thank savers, you. too. <laughs> um, so bad it's good, he says. Ken G with a 2. Gail with a 5. Welshy Kev with a 0. Benny with a 0. <laughs> Katie Price with the minus 10 out of 10. Oh, Darren wow. very plainly going for, it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of 0 0.0s and then a 1 out of 10. Um, oh, Michelle Johnson is aching from all the laughing. I'm aching from dying inside. 
Uh, link warm, people with yeah. the north. <laughs> um, Bruce, Bruce, I didn't end up in Specsavers, apparently. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> uh, Rob Brown, seven and a half out of ten. Max going for a ten as well. But Max is just... Well, you know. Uh, why not? I'll Max take it at the moment. I think I need it. <laughs> that, that's why we have the emoji of ten out of ten, because that's his thing. <laughs> Honest to God. Right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that went well, didn't it? That went, <laughs> you weren't expecting that one. It went so well, even I got roasted. So, <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Oh, dear me. All right, on to the next one. Uh, one that is obviously very synonymous with a particular incident, which we'll try and avoid talking about. Um, and Lewis has a story about uh, this particular one. Uh, it is the Helios yes. livery. Uh, on the 737 300. Um, why'd you pick this one? Uh, I it again goes back to my childhood, um, being half separate and uh, traveling to Cyprus quite a lot. I actually never flew these, but always got to see them at Larnaca Airport. And as a kid, used to love it, it was really nice and it was different. There was, there was about quite a few of these, um, because they had quite at one time, they had quite a few. Uh, 737 they're different 737s as well mm. um but it, it was really really nice um and this this airline was at the time when sort of air travel to cyprus was really booming um and there was quite a few um different airlines flying in and out to cyprus you had obviously cyprus airways you had olympic you had um euro cyprus uh, Helios uh, and others of that so um, yeah it's it was really nice to see um, obviously uh, the, the history it was, it was you know we, we know what happened to the airline it was a massive shame um, but yeah it's, it's a shame that they never continued but unfortunately they just never survived uh, no. the outcome of, of that fatal crash unfortunately yes <clears throat> Yeah, it's um if you haven't seen it or don't you know don't know what we're talking about, um have a look for I mean there's a uh episode on it on air crash investigation. Um and yeah, it's it's a sad story. It is it is a sad it story. Is. It's sad how yeah. it uh, how yeah. it came about. <clears throat> I was actually flying the next day to Cyprus. We had a we were flying with Olympic Airlines. Um and we had a stopover. It was from Heathrow uh, with Olympics uh, A340 at the time going to Athens and then a Boeing 717 to, to Larnaca from Athens Airport. Uh, and it, it literally just happened. Well, it, it it was a day before. And I remember coming out of the um, the airport and obviously it was still... Uh, as you would expect it to be a massive thing at the time there was loads of it was it was very sad to see it was loads of families still ask you know going there to ask what's going on uh, wanting answers uh, loads of press outside the uh, the airport at the time um so yeah it was a it wasn't a very nice situation at all um uh but yeah it, it was a very sad out outcome what happened uh, to the passengers, unfortunately, but it's such a shame because the, the livery, I think, re was really nice because it's got the sort of Cypriot heritage with the um, uh, the logo. I always forget which one it is. I think that's Aphrodite. I can't remember on the tail. Um, oh no, sorry, it's Helios, isn't it? Duh. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really nice as well. Uh, mm. It's just got that sort of Cypriot vibe to it. Yes. Yeah, it's definitely uh yeah, definitely definitely like it. Mm. Um Michelle Johnson asking what crashed. Uh I believe it was this actual actual plane, I'm sure it was. Was it this looking one? for a photo of it? Um oh, I'm sure right. it was this, this yeah. particular one. It was uh Helios Flight 22, 522. Yeah, Flight 522 yeah. for Helios. Yeah. Have a look for um the air crash investigation episode if you yeah. haven't um haven't uh got a clue about what it is or yeah. um look it up on wikipedia because there is a wikipedia article mm. uh, about it as well and it's uh, also fills you known in as the ghost flight wasn't it ghost flight yes mm -hmm. yes um right okay let's have a look and see what people think about this particular livery let's get the off screen quickly um okay so 
Um, Rob Brown says, sad story, but a nice livery. Uh, da, 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 da. Michelle Johnson saying, uh, oh, my favorite 737 300s. She's a big fan of the old classic 737s. Yeah, they, they updated the 300, the 500, the 700. And they also did, at the last year, they had an 800, mm. which they gave back in the end. I can't remember. It was a British, they released it from a British company. I can't remember who the airline was at the time. Um, but yeah, most yeah. of their aircraft were all leases. Uh, da, 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 da. Bruce saying it's a nice bit of paintwork. Uh, Welsh Kev saying not for me. Um, uh, Ian Meadows says um, <laughs> I've got hundreds of these. Fo- I've got hundreds of photos of these. Is that Medusa on the tail or Mick Hucknell? Let's have a look again. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> yeah. Now I can't, I can't unsee it. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ian. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Cyprus. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it's been worse. <laughs> yeah. uh, Michael Painter, love delivery, but glad I never flew on them on safety grounds. Fair enough. They weren't that bad. I think it was just, uh, you know, they weren't that bad, to be fair. I mean, the actual flight which did go down, actually had a, a wet, it was a wet lease, I think it was. So it wasn't actually Helios crew. Um, no. But yeah. No. Um, Lewis Chapman says Emirates vibes on the lettering. Mm. You can see that. Yeah, it's that golden letter, isn't it, really? Uh, Jim confirming that that is the uh, very plain on that fateful flight. Oh, wow. Picture. Mm. So. Uh, Gemma Rowe says definitely Mick Hucknell. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, right. Uh, over to your rating then for the uh, Helios. Uh, I'm going to go for a six for this one. A six. Mm. At least it's not a Jack and done a two. So that's, that's, we, can, we, can, we can get behind that. A six out of ten for uh, for that livery. So that's, uh, that's fair enough. Let's see what you lot have put in the chat uh caitlin with a 8.5 kicking things off again uh then we've got ken g with a minus 100 out of 10 oh oh felt that oh. knife go in then uh, <laughs> uh carl crawford 8.5 out of 10 sarah with an 8 uh, michelle johnson 10 out of 10 uh benny with an 8 uh ali cat with an 8.5 gail with a 9.5 lynn with a 9 sad story but do like the colors Jim with a nine, Katie Price with a seven, Debbie thirteen with an eight. These aren't bad. These aren't bad. Welsh, Welshy Kev with a three. Okay, <laughs> bringing it down. <laughs> oh, well. uh, Wayne with a nine out of wow. ten, and it's, it's not a, a minus. Soundboard when you need it, <laughs> and it's not a minus. Yeah, I can confirm. <laughs> Are you sure you went to put a minus in front of that, uh, Wayne? Yeah. <laughs> um, Jack Rolls with a nine point nine out of ten. Rob Brown with a seven point. Uh, sorry, seven out of ten. Um, Chris with a six. Um, Max constantly going for the seven three seven out of seven three seven because someone's got to do it. Um, and Bruce is asking, Caitlin, is Lewis paying you for these scores? <laughs> no, Bruce is proper on one this evening. I must admit, <laughs> probably on one. Love it. All right, there you go. So let's Not take. Bad. That's that. We're, we're going up. We're going up. So four to go. You know. Four to go. And uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, I forget what I mean. Next one is now. <laughs> I think there's two there that could probably divide opinion. Mm. Maybe a third. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see how we get on with it. Um, so up next, another one of the uh, sort of Thomas Cook esque yes. style airlines that are no longer yeah. around. So Fly Globe Span. I have a love hate relationship to Fly Globe Span. I chose it because. There is one part of that aircraft livery I like, and that is the tail. And I don't know why. It's just the tail. Um, it has got the old school EasyJet fly uh, Ryanair vibes. But uh, yeah, if anyone doesn't know about this airline, they were a Scottish airline. Um, I, I forget though when they started. I think it was in the nineties. I could be wrong. Um, when they got quite big uh, around 2000, 2000 and, uh, oh gosh, 2013, I think it was roughly. Um, and they, their, most of their 
uh, liveries was this. Um, I think they had a couple of 767s with a blank tail. It just was a red tail. They did. But this was the tail I liked on the 757. It was quite nice. I think uh, this livery you know, on the flying pencil um, is perfect for it. Um, I do like it. As I say, I've got love-hate relationship because I don't think I'd ever fly on a fly. After doing it once, I'd never do it again. And obviously I can't do it anymore. Um, but I'd never do it again because it was the worst flying experience I have ever experienced. There was literally no leg room at all. If, if everyone, everyone used to comment about Ryanair's leg room, well, this just made Ryanair's leg room look like premium economy. Um, it was terrible. Um, the I don't know which one it was, but they used to fly um, to Europe, but they also used to fly to America. They were one one of the few low cost carriers at the time, which was doing transatlantic flights. Mm. Um, and they used to do quite a heavy pre present at Glasgow, I think it was, uh, in Edinburgh airport. Um, and uh, they actually lost their FAA license. I don't know if you know about this, but they lost their FAA license because it was on a 757. I think they took off from Glasgow um, and one of the engines failed. And instead of turning back because they were closer to the UK, the captain decided or the crew decided it would, well, we'll just continue. So they continued all the way to, uh, I can't remember what airport it was. I think it was Newark or something like that, um, with one engine. Wow. Uh, and it was a bit, it was kept under wraps. No one really mentioned it. And then um, the passengers started talking about it and the FAA and um, uh, NTSB heard about it and started investigating. And as soon as they found out about it, they lost their license to fly to America. Uh, and that was pretty much the beginning of the end for them because they lost a huge portion of their their, their income uh, and they just never survived afterwards. Um, it was always dodgy. I remember flying once and we were coming in um, to Hilanica and they didn't use reverse thrust on the 737. God, <laughs> and, <amazing>. Yeah. <laughs> And obviously, once you've done quite a few flights, you know what you're expecting to hear. When you don't hear a reverse thrust, <laughs> it was the middle of a night flight as well, because they used to, because they were super cheap, <laughs> bless you as well. Um, you. Um, <laughs> because it was a super cheap flight, they were red eye flights constantly. So I think my air flight was going there was 10 o'clock at night. So you didn't get uh, to, to Cyprus until about four o'clock. Um, and then on the way back, a return flight, was 1.50 in the morning. Uh, it was horrible. Absolutely hated right. it. But I did like the livery. And that was the only thing I liked about that, about that airline. Um, Very interesting that you mentioned the 767 because there'll be quite a few of you that may not have realised that the one of the 767s from, Glo uh, bleh, from Fly Globe Span, try saying that after a few Westerns, <laughs> <Yes>. um, <laughs> One of the 767s from Fly Globespan uh, actually went on lease to Air India. Ah, right. Aye. And uh, I was fortunate enough to catch a couple of pictures. Oh. Some aren't very good, but this is probably the only decent one I had with the camera that I had at the time. There you go. There's your proof. Oh, wow. There is your proof uh, that uh, they leased one from Fly Globespan and just put the Air the India body's... tail on there. Yeah, I was going to say, the body's quite similar, though, isn't it? Really? Yeah. 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 So uh, there you go. All used to come in in the afternoon. First time I ever caught it was on the zero nines, mm. and it wasn't a very good picture. Uh, so I was like, I'm sure I'll get it again at some point, and then I did. So um, yeah, there's a couple of uh, couple of pictures there. So yeah, so they did lease one out to uh, to uh, to to Air India. It's a nice little rarity for those that uh, that can remember that. Mm. Um, going back to the livery though, yeah, I mean. It's almost like having that Ryanair um, yeah. re reputation before Ryanair got that reputation. All low-cost airlines used to just put their, their URL on it, didn't they? Or it was even mm. going to be a phone number or a web address, and that was it. That was their advert. Yes. Yeah. Livery is fine. It's not It's not the, the, the craziest, but it's a 757. So, mm. yeah. I think that's what we're judging it on. <laughs> <laughs> um. Right, uh, have a think about what you'll give it out of 10. I'm just going to bring up this comment from Gemma Rowe, 
who says the uh, the Air India looks much better than the Flying Go- uh, I can't even say it, even without the Westerns. Flight <laughs> Globe Span. Flight Globe Span. Good. Yeah, imagine saying that with a Scottish accent as well. <laughs> oh. Where's Jim? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, God. Uh, 2000, who was it? Somebody put it in the chat. I think it was Rob. Uh, ran from 2002 uh, to 2009 ish. Mm. Flew with them to Larnaca. Seats was like sitting on a block of concrete. Oh yeah, yeah, I agree. That was the same flight I I did as well, Rob. And horrible, <clears throat> absolutely horrible. Four hours and well, four and a half hours flight. Mm. Awful, awful. Uh, Michael Painter says uh, they even flew from Exeter to Toronto on their 757. Mm. Imagine sitting on a block of concrete from all that way. Yeah. No, thank you. Not for me. Mm. <laughs> Not for me. But they were cheap. Um, it was really, really cheap flights, and that's how you know that was their their business plan. Mm. Um, so have a look and see what the comments put. Then uh, Ian Meadows has got plenty of the uh, pictures of those as well. Uh, Bruce has got G's in it. <laughs> it's got G's in it. Just expecting my chav voice to come out again. I'm not doing it. Uh, Lewis Chapman says uh, it's got. It looks like a livery I'd make on airline manager. <laughs> Jane Chapman, good to see you. Says uh, don't care what it looks like. It's a seven five seven with RB two elevens, and therefore it's a ten out of ten. Um, David Bone um, says I flew from Aberdeen to Parma on their base seven three seven. They were a great airline. Mm. Okay, you must good. be one of the lucky ones. One of the lucky ones. He only flew with them once. Um, <laughs> uh, Michelle Johnson going for looks like it's bit, uh, looks like it dipped lightly into the red paint. The tail fin is the best part. And she's mm, that, that, we'll I'll be honest, that is my favourite bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Other than that, lots of people talking about the. Uh... No, that's fair enough. All right, let's go on to the uh, onto the ratings then. So for the fly globe span livery, <laughs> you've literally got to like break it up into three syllables. Um, what are you giving it out of ten? Uh, I'm going to give this a five because, like I say, as I do with the airline, yeah, I have a love hate relationship. So it's a five from me. It's in the middle. Okay, five out of ten. We're going to kick it off with Lynn Keeble saying tail is nice, but nothing else. So a three point five out of ten. Um, then we have Michelle Johnson who gave it a three, as we've just seen. Um, I was expecting low numbers, to be honest, with this one. Not too many. Uh, Caitlin's mm-hmm. Caitlin's giving it a six. Gail's giving it an eight. Debbie thirteen's giving it a three. Uh, Wayne with a seven. Wow, okay. which, which does surprise me. It, Ken G with a seven. Does. Yeah, I, I didn't think it would be something Wayne would like. Might just be because it's a seven five seven. Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe actually. That's probably where the high numbers are coming into this, I think. Um, yeah, Wayne with a seven, Ken G with a seven, Carl Crawford with a seven point five, Benny with a six, Welshy Kev for a four uh, for the tail, Ali Cat with a five, Katie Price with a two, Michael Painter with a seven, uh, Rob Brown with a one, Nicola Carter with a seven, uh, Gemma Rowe giving it a six because of the comments about the poor legroom. Um, another one from Darren Smith saying it's shit. No point, no, 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 one out of ten. Getting a lot of noughts today. Yes, <laughs> it's the same for history. I it's think. a tough crowd. But it's always you know it yeah, you do yeah. these you do these shows and you do like the quizzes and stuff and you think oh everyone's quite nice. You do this type of show and you see everybody for what they're for. I think <laughs> I'll, I'll stick to just the stream and plane spotting. That's fine by me now. <laughs> Savage beast. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Lewis Chapman, um, <laughs> Lewis Chapman, I like it. Roasting Wayne says Wayne says seven as if he squints looks similar to Virgin's livery. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Brilliant. Roasting the mods now. Love it. Um, <clears throat> Gemma Rose that says might have to retract my score if they're expecting low numbers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Jack Rolls with a 10 out of 10. Not bad. Not bad. Thank you, Jack. Play. All righty. Three to go. Mm. Here comes what people think is a uh, colossus waste of uh, taxpayers' money. Um, through the pandemic, everyone was very shocked and wondered why this even happened. It is, of course, 
uh, ZZ336, otherwise known as the A330 Tanga, otherwise known as the Voyager, uh, sporting the United Kingdom livery. I've got another name for it as well. It's the Air Boris, Air Force Boris. Or, or Boris Force One, as oh, they, that's they it. call it. Boris Force yeah. One, yeah. Or it'd be... I yeah Sunak Sunak yes Sunak which doesn't have the same yeah doesn't really go doesn't it (laughs) hasn't got the same though Rishi fourth one there you go I uh I I know it got a lot of bad press uh because obviously the timing uh of them doing this wasn't great Um, no (laughs) it wasn't great no was it when the COVID nineteen did they yeah it was during that it was during that wasn't it yeah. Vespina um, as well, Rob Brown is saying. Vespina is the other name for it. Vespina. <laughs> I like it. Um, I do. I think maybe a little bit of patriotic of me, but I think it's good that we've got an aircraft representing the country. Um, you know, the French have got theirs. Obviously, Biden's got his, uh, which he trips up on a lot of the time. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, and many other, as we've seen the coronation and obviously on the Queen's death, we've seen a lot of these sort of government planes coming in, which is great to see. So uh, I'm glad that we've got something like this. And I'm, I'm more happier that it's a hybrid plane, but it's not just for um, government and VIP. <clears throat> it's actually, it is doing a job in the Air Force. So it's not, you know, sitting there doing nothing it's a a refueler as well so i like it i prefer this more than the uh the titan ones so i think it's good that they've done a deal with titan as well to do the smaller planes which makes sense to be honest as well Mm. but um i prefer this livery to the uh, the other uh the a321 neo that they've got um it's just nice it's uh it's a really really nice plane and obviously Top marks kits in there by say three thirty. So the butter machine, as a lot of people call it. Um, yeah, it's. I don't know. I think I'm. I'm. I'm maybe slightly different. I prefer it on the three twenty one Neo than the three thirty. The A three twenty one might be slightly controversial. Yeah, I prefer it. So I don't really like the A three twenty. Is it the A three twenty? Have it as well. I'm, I prefer if I had a choice of the A three twenty and A three twenty one. It's the A three twenty one Neo for me. Um, because it's got that sort of the Neo style to it. Um, I think if it was a regular A321, I probably wouldn't like it as much. Mm. Um, but for me, <clears throat> at, out of the choice of the three, this one is my favourite. Um, yeah, it, and I just like, I like to see this also. There's a few photos that he released, uh, MOD released, um, or the RF, sorry, released with uh, refueling some of the jets, and it looks really nice to see as well. Uh, it's stunning. It, it's interesting. I think you've you've kind of got the room back a little bit uh, with uh, with this livery. Yeah, However, there are some people that are sort of a little bit um, iffy with it or or torn. Maybe I, I yeah. get I get it's a questionable use of taxpayers' money, but I do think we need it. I mean, the timing was the timing was terrible. Yeah, I think they should have either done it sooner or waited a little bit later afterwards. Mm. Um, but well, we all know what that government was like previously. They, yes, I'd, I'd like to keep myself monetized. Please don't don't <laughs> like, don't speak yeah, yeah. politics. <laughs> YouTube's hot on it, like literally. Who mentioned Boris? Right, strike him. <laughs> <laughs> literally, that's what they're like, and it's really annoying. Even if you were to like just read out lyrics to a song or or hum it or whatever, you know, like they they literally come down on you for pretty much anything, um, which is stupid. But there you go. Um, Right, let's have a look and see what people have put then in the chat. We've got an honourable mention as well in terms of liveries, which I'll show you after we've we've finished. Um, But let's have a look and see what we got here. So uh, Ken G will kick it off with you saying that the gold lettering is cheesy. Well, I mean, they could have gone for like a dark blue as well, maybe. But I think it's gold to kind of make it stand out a little bit more maybe don't forget they use it for royal flights as well so maybe that's the royal factor into it linky was a big fan she says i like this um gail says coming from an RAF family uh for me despite the uh the covid crap i love it yeah i mean it's 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 nice and it someone said it's it'd make a great updated british airways livery as well mm. Possibly. I don't know if they go for the full flag. I think I'd change it completely. 
not to the Iberia copy either, the one that I keep showing on the stream that everyone gets ugh about. <laughs> I'm, I haven't got I'm it. I'm going to be controversial. I actually like BA's livery. I know it's not a massive fan on this show, but I actually do like the livery. Get out. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost the chat again, haven't I? <laughs> I don't hate it. I don't, hate it at all. I've, I've I don't know why I do one. it to myself. <laughs> I, I don't hate it. I, I'm one that has, oh, I've firmly believed that for me, it needs a little, it needs something. It needs something mm. to happen yeah, to it. Yeah. I've always been, because I know it's a, a delivery was only made for Concord. Yes, I get the, the tail is like representative of the flag and stuff, but I'm also sitting there. And I, I'm a firm believer of the the Chelsea Rose livery from the World livery, uh, the World liveries, um, that I think should have done it. I should, I think they should have used that because you know it's the English Rose. You know, it's, I know it's the whole British thing, but it's a rose. You know, people in Britain know what rose is. They know it's associated with the UK and yeah. stuff like that. So I think, and I personally, I think it looked great on on any aircraft as well. But we've got what we've got, and I think it needs a massive upgrade. So. Yeah, I think <laughs> well, she can. Says my thoughts tweet. exactly. Then Tom, cut him off. <laughs> Get rid. <laughs> Get him out. Now. <laughs> Jim's, but, um, um, Jim's made a really good comment actually about uh, the hoo hoo ha with the press. Uh, I don't know if you've seen that. Oh yes, yeah. She was in for a routine scheduled maintenance and was due for a repaint at the time. Mm. The press media made a mountain out of a molehill over this. Of course, that's what they do. It, it was it was that COVID era. Everyone got bored. Everyone was staying at home. They wanted a good story. They wanted to have a little whinge, and I think that was where that that got. I mean, yeah, it's because I I read about the whole because um, obviously it, the main article was about how much it cost, wasn't it? Uh, it, it was an extortionate amount, but. Um, someone actually told me, um, I can't remember who it was now, but the reason for that cost was it's not a normal commercial plane. And you got to remember that it's a military plane and there are uh, safety elements and security elements to, to that, which, you know, I believe that plane is also protected for uh, any nuclear pulse as well, I believe, some mm -hmm. of the Air Force One. So, you know, there's obviously they've done something with a paint and they've done something where, where else it's got. So um, it's not a bog standard repaint that we would see in British Airways or or any other airline. So, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's one, it's of, those one ones of them. Where I think if you if you completely take the, 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 the timing and everything else out of it. Yeah, it ain't. That bad. I don't think we'd be talking about it now. It's not that bad. If you if you had it normally on a normal day and you really and you revealed it and things like that where there was no pandemic around, I think it probably would have been received a lot better. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Because there was a pandemic going on, because of this, that, and everything else, and it was like, that's where my money's gone, even though yeah, I'm not yeah. working at the moment, because I'm on yeah. furlough, you know, yeah. and everything else. So it's, yeah, it's one of those, just one of those things, I think the timing yeah. was bad, and that's Definitely. probably what put it into negative light, almost. Um, so we've got rough ideas to what people think. Um, so out of 10 for this one, please, Lewis? Uh, I'm going to give this an 8. 8. Mm, I do like it. It's got that sort of Royal Air Force style as well as the IP logo in. Um, let's have a look here. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to bring this one up here. From Ian Meadows. Everyone knows my job involves uh, doing house clearances as well, and I get to keep some stuff, as we mentioned yesterday on the stream. Uh, Ian Meadows says, uh, is that a new mural next to you, Tom? Was that from a house clearance? <laughs> it is a canvas picture um, that um, I think is quite nice. Yes, it's from a house clearance. <laughs> yes, it is. So I didn't actually pay for it. I took it because I liked it. Then realized it's too big to go anywhere in my in, in this room. So it becomes part of the part of the furniture at the moment. So oh, yes. Good job. Yes, it is. Let me just take that off. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> this is from a house clearance. <laughs> do you know what? I never moved. I didn't even notice that till now because I always have the flyby, don't you? I always do use the flyby one. I thought yeah. I'll go different and see if anyone notices. And it's only taken an hour and twenty eight minutes <laughs> for someone to look at that and go, "Different? Where's that from?" Maybe it's from a house clearance. <laughs> and it is. It's from a house clearance. It's nice. I like it. Yeah. Not bad for a freebie. That's why I like my job. <laughs> <laughs> and no, I'm not a hoarder, as some people seem to keep saying. 
He's not a hoarder. Don't rate this out of 10 either, by the way. <laughs> I don't want any ratings. <laughs> don't rate that yeah, out of 10. They're feisty at the moment. You watch <laughs> Absolutely. <clears throat> um, Darren Smith saying, is it Cat 3 at Nuki? No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's just a nice, nice picture. Uh, Ian knows it straight away, but took an hour and 28 minutes to ask. <laughs> Well, people are rating the picture. Don't rate the picture. It's nothing to do with the picture. <laughs> <coughs> right. Uh, what was your rating? Did you give it? Oh, you caught me off guard. They're eight. Eight, eight. Out, of eight out of ten. Yeah. Let's see what people have put in the chat. Quite a few have gone uh, in there. So Gemma Rowe uh, going for nine out of ten for the livery, minus ten out of ten for the money. <laughs> let it go, Gemma. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> um, we have got a uh, Jack with a 10 as well. Rob Brown says the reg number is too big, but a seven out of 10. Michelle Johnson with a nine. Benny with a 10. Uh, Katie Price with a 10. Uh, lots of people, you know, about the BA livery saying that they agree with you and for me to cut you off. So I'll just skip past those very quickly. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Welsh Kev with a nine. Sarah with an eight. Ali Cat with a 10. Carl with an eight. Uh, Ken G with an eight. Caitlin with a nine. I'm sure Jack just gave it a 10 out of 10 and then knocked it down one. We'll take nine. Nine. <laughs> um, oh, no, he didn't. No, nine out of 10. Oh. I want to see it at uh, the Air Tattoo. Oh, I, I, I'll be amazed if it's at the Air Tattoo. I know they are sending one, but whether it's going to be... The it's used a lot, not, isn't it, in service? So they hardly actually show it off now, don't they? Not being funny. Maybe that's why it's in maintenance. Possibly. Don't Don't quote me on it. Um, Wayne says five out of ten. I want my taxi back. <laughs> uh, um, well, yeah, three out of ten for the picture. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> um, Carl Crawford saying, Right time for a rate. Come on, five out of ten. Tom, stop rating the picture. <laughs> um, Ian Meadow says, Need a picture of Lily Allen on it. I'll, I'll work on it. <clears throat> um, um uh Gemma Rowe says use it or lose it. Uh, I think that's fair enough. I you know the the whole thing. Don't apologize for the money comment either. Like we, we like to look like a uh, a good laugh here. Gail with a 10, David Bone with a 10. I don't know whether that's for the livery now or whether it's this. The <laughs> <laughs> canvas 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh my goodness me. I am gonna change it to a picture of Does it add to the scores. I mean I'll take it. <laughs> uh Michelle Johnson saying what picture? This one. <laughs> This is what people are rating now. <laughs> Someone thought I was just your window. <laughs> yeah, this is the view from outside, outside my house. <laughs> uh, I can glue me, even though the sun's been. <clears throat> yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll say, change it to a picture of Lily Allen for the for the uh, for the stream on Tuesday. One thing I forgot to mention about that other livery. Now, this is me dreaming because everyone in, on my channel knows that I'm an Airbus A380 fan. But money aside. That would be amazing if we had an A380 as a VIP jet. Hang Could on. you imagine how beautiful Hang that would be? I know they've done some mock-ups, but just a little bit of a sort of sort of up yours, America, with the uh, uh, Air Force One style. We can do a, an RAF one. That would be amazing. That was always a dream of mine. But we'll never ever have something like that on that big scale. And and to be honest, we don't need. Obviously, we don't need it. But yeah, I don't necessarily amazing. need it. I'm just seeing if there was a mock-up that I can. I'm pretty certain there has been. I know there are uh, flight simulator add-ons um, with mockeries like that. Oh, I've, I've certainly played a few like that back in the old day with flight simulator X. Um, I know lots of uh, add-ons still get done for uh, FSX, and so maybe, maybe someone's done it that I can find. Lots of British Airways. I miss the days of FSX already. So many aircraft you could use. Yeah. Oh, that's the thing. Time. We're going off subject here, but the uh, flight simulator 2020 is amazing. But uh, it's just the add-ons, isn't it? It's lacking aircraft at the minute. Yeah. It's the only thing. Mm -hmm. Just choice. I can't find a picture. There's an A380 with Laker livery. Okay. Which, uh, yeah. <laughs> not the same. No, not the same. Yeah. Uh, again, beauty of the flight sim. You could put any yeah. livery on any. I mean, that's on. just me dreaming, really. Yeah, but it would be nice. Um, right. Okay. So, um, nice picture. Oh, come on. Everyone's talking about the picture. Don't rate the picture. 
Stop rating the picture. Uh, Gemma Rose has not played uh, Microsoft Flight Sim for ages. Need to get back into practice. What I'd like to do <clears throat> is I'd like to find out how many people play it and then do a group flight. Oh, Gemma, go and go and watch uh, Tom's Flight Sims. It's brilliant. Really, yeah. Come and watch us on Tuesday. I think yeah. we're doing Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays is when we do yeah. them. Lots of fun. Definitely lots of fun. Some people have, you know, like I say, they're not into flight sim, but they come along for the laugh and they're always left. With... Yeah, good. Just good make time. sure you put your seatbelt on. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we managed to play the Butter song for the first time last night, which was <laughs> yes, wonderful. Heard, yeah, yeah, we heard it yesterday, didn't we? Fantastic. Yeah. And I completely forgot at the end, I, I turned the stream off and went, I didn't mention what the score was. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was one, I was waiting for you to do that, Joe. We were like, afterwards. Because you were quite happy with the score as well, you I said. I was like, woohoo, Butter, played the song, went off, and then did my own thing, and then went... I didn't mention it, did I? <laughs> <laughs> what, just, uh, what was it? What, do you remember, do uh, you 173. Oh, that's good. Which isn't too bad. It's, for me, butter, because, yeah. No, that's good. That's but it's, good. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, who said that? Bruce, picture would look nice <laughs> if you hung it the right... It is the right way round. Thank you. If I turn oh, it round, it's going to be upside down, isn't it? He's on fire today. <laughs> Probably ban Bruce, please. <laughs> Right, let's crack on before we uh, continue yeah. to um, go off topic at the moment. But yeah, do watch the flight sim streams. They are very good, even if the landings aren't particularly great. I do my best. Um, right, on to the next one, which is going to be, be a little bit closer to home for you, because I know lots of people are saying that you're half Cypriot. Is that right? Yeah, I've noticed I've said this a lot in, uh, today, so apologies if I have. <laughs> That's all right. So we're going to go for something a little bit closer to home, and we have uh, a render of something that is on its way. Mm as well but this featured on the quiz uh, for one of mm. our rounds and um lewis is a big fan of and I'm, i must admit so am i um a yeah. big fan of the uh, the cypress airways new livery i've always yeah. been a big lover of the previous stuff mm. but i can the, get the a319 is really nice as well but i do like this one the a319 the only difference with the a319 is the engine is colored to the same color as the tail mm. um but that it, it's nice so yeah, I mean, this has come from, um, uh, well, Cypress Airways, we've, we've now got uh, this as our main airline again, which is slowly coming back to um, to large operations now. Uh, they started off with a small uh, one or two aircraft, but this is really nice. It's subtle, it's fresh, it's clean, um, and I think I've done it well. I loved the old Cypress Airways livery, um, the old classic one, not the newer blue one but i love the old classic one but um mm. this one is really really nice um it's uh i well it's, these aren't even government owned anymore so the the old cypress airways before it went um into turmoil and uh went bust uh they were also owned by cypress this is a a private company i could forget who it is but originally it's registered as charlie airlines if i remember correctly and okay. then they've they've bought the um the name rights for Cyprus Airways. Um, and there's quite a few, but I think they've done it really well, Cyprus, where they've not rushed it. There was another mm. airline called Cobalt, and uh, they, as much as exciting, and we did catch that as well on our, on our stream, um, they, uh, oh, sorry, my computer went quite in. Uh, they <laughs> went, uh, yeah, they went uh, bust because they just went at a fast rate and was going too fast, whereas these guys have gone slow. They started off with an A319, um and they've now finally got the a320 but now they're moving over to another new uh, airline and they're going to be an exclusive airline to, uh, airliner to that uh one and there it is it's beautiful really excited it's this one enough. so this is the a22300 they've they've uh, they've got free on lease coming to them from air baltic and they've put an order in with Airbus, or doing a, a deal with Airbus at the moment to buy more and they are currently advertising for an all a220 crew uh airline so they will that's the future for them mm. uh, and i think i mean i love an a220 absolutely love it it's the noise the, the look it's beautiful so i'm really excited to see this uh when they do fly it. and it can do the range um 
for Heathrow to to Larnaca, which you right, know, can yes, yeah, they're, they're amazing ranges. I didn't realize how big they are. I mean, you can fly uh, transatlantic as well if you if you get it right. They, they um, can indeed, yeah, yeah. So amazing to see that. I'm really looking forward to. It. And as soon as they do uh, that to, to, from Heathrow, I will be booking that and going. I mean, even if they were doing the A320, they did. They did uh, have a slot. In COVID time, just after COVID, they, they took a couple of slots in Heathrow, uh, but I think they gave that back. But it's looking nice. There's more of these coming out now in Larnaca, and uh, they seem to be doing well. And they've run, uh, they're uh, they're managed now by really um, someone who knows the, uh, the industry very well. I can't, I can't remember his name now. He's on LinkedIn, but he's done other airlines as well. And he, the CEO of this airline is brilliant now. So yeah hopefully positive things ahead and if they get it right we'll start seeing cypress airways in a larger format and we are going back to the good old days but this is really nice it, it features the, the cypria olive branch mm -hmm. um and the tail the colors are really nice as well uh and it's got the old style cypress logo which you can see um oh, yeah. on on the uh, engine as well which I'm is really nice. that, yeah yeah <clears throat> really nice so yeah <clears throat> like I say, I, as somebody that lived near Heathrow um, growing up and things like that, I got very accustomed to the, you'll know exactly what I mean, Lewis, the, the livery that's, that was on the A310s. It's the yes. best way of putting it because if that I put old livery, gold, or I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. so if I say like old livery, people mm. will probably think of the blue one. Yeah, so um, everyone thinks of the blue one, but it was on before that. Yeah, yeah. Massive fan had, of it. Was it a TriStar I think they had on that as well? L10 TriStar. I can't remember oh, which God, one they had. They? they had a TriStar. I can't remember if it was that livery they wow. had it on. Okay. Let me uh let me search for it. I will get a picture of the uh said livery. Mm, lovely. Um, just I mean I, I quite like the uh the blue one on the A330, but it was a bit boring. Um I mean I've got a model of it. I don't know if I can uh I thought the blue one was I didn't didn't think it was too bad, but my my only up. model, which is missing an engine already so sorry wayne but i got that on board well do you know what it's still more complete than what max has got so <laughs> it's getting old and dusty but that's my uh, only model i've got so that's why i'm not great for a model mania but yeah i've seen uh, i've seen max's models half of them are missing yeah the vital <laughs> things like wings <laughs> <laughs> um yeah let me uh let me grab a picture of the uh livery that i'm talking about um i'll have a look for this tristar one as well i didn't know that they have I'm pretty sure it was a trust. Hang on, I know it's def it's definitely hang on. 10, 11. Was it L was it try was it seven two seven? Hang on. Hang on, was it seven two seven? I mean it's a it's a big difference in airline, is that but <laughs> <laughs> um they had the trident. Was it a trident? Hang on. Trident in the older, older livery. Um seven twenty. They definitely had a pretty so it was a, was it a seven two seven? Hang on, yeah, it was a seven two seven. Oh, was it? Was it a tri? Oh no, sorry, no, it was a trident. Trident. Yeah, it was a trident. <laughs> so yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, trident there. But for those wondering, in terms of the the delivery that I'm on about, the one that I've been very synonymous, I always used to see these. These take off about mid morning, I think, uh, when you know, because I lived on the flight path for zero nine, so I'd always yeah. see them. <clears throat> yeah, they used to take, take off, off early. mid morning. Mm. That's, this is the livery I'm talking oh, about. It is. I've flown on that many times. Is that the uh, yeah three ten a three ten? This is stunning. Th I mean, for me, this uh, is this is how I know Cypress Airways. That brings back memories. That does. That's, uh, that reminds me of uh, being on a plane. I think I bought my Furby when I was only about nine years old on board because there was no entertainment back then, so I just had a Furby. <laughs> 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 I think I was causing mayhem on that <laughs> with the Furby just going off constantly. <laughs> this, this in itself, this this livery here is Beautiful, what I always it? know. You always used yeah. to sort of look out for it. I used to always, you know, love seeing it. Yeah. Um, it was yeah. it's one of those liveries on even on an A320, even on an A320. This is fantastic. I know there's the the A310 on the flight sim things. We're talking about it now. Mm -hmm. Um. The flight sim, um, and I, I'm positive there is a livery, this livery, there is for it. I'm, mm. I'm certain there is. So I'll have a look afterwards and I may they try. They did and... that quite a lot. I think they changed it in, oh God, 2003 to the blue. If I, if I remember they correctly. did. They did. Yeah. Uh, around that sort of time, I think. But this for me is stunning. I, and I, I always used to remember <clears throat> airport 
when they used to feature Cyprus yes. Airways. They used to airport. love it because you had Maria, who was the um, airport. Uh, That's it. Yeah, manager. like the big bushy hair. So like That's perm. right. The, yeah. The perm. yeah, yeah, loved it. Love but, airport. Yeah, my favourite season was that mm. when it was so. I was so proud to see it on there. If you love airport, by the way, if you scroll all the way back, we had uh, Jeremy Spake on the mm. show. Um, and we spoke to him about Airport and his new series that he was doing at the time. And uh, great fun to great fun to chat to. I must reach out to him and see if he'll uh, come on again and do another another interview um, for everybody. I know he's a little bit busy at the moment, but uh, yeah, Jeremy Spake, the uh, the guy who did the the Aeroflot um, stuff, we had him on, and he was fantastic to talk to. Very very informative about the show and what he was doing, etc. But uh, yeah, very good. But that livery, like I say, that livery was fantastic. That's how I know I, what I've been after a model of that particular livery for a long, long time. And um, I, I, I will not give up on my hunt for one. <laughs> but that's how I know. It and then they moved be. to the blue one, and then they've got this, uh, yeah. this, this mint green sort of livery. Mm. Yeah, no, it was, it was a fantastic time for the airline that period. Uh, and it just unfortunately, after the um, Cyprus economic crash, it just all went downhill. Where, where it was a government airline, the original airline just it was it was gone. It couldn't survive, mm. um, which is such a shame because it was used such a lot. Um, but you know that's what happens sometimes when you're a government airline. Uh, lots of people showing a lot of love for Jeremy. Yeah, do if you haven't seen the like I say if you haven't seen the episode, do go back and watch it after this or tomorrow or whenever you fancy it. Um, very informative and it was it was a lot of fun chatting to him. It's like starstruck in a way, <laughs> especially if you're a big fan of airport and it's like you see him on the telly and then you get an opportunity to speak to him. It's, it was just yeah, wonderful. Um, right, have a think about what you're going to give it. I know it's close to home, so you're probably going to give it a high score, but think about it anyway. Uh, let's see what people think about it as well. Uh, Gemma Rose says that livery is stunning. I have to completely agree. Um, going further up. Um... There's lots of people saying about uh, the, the color of it. Uh, Ali Cat says minty freshness, like a lot. <laughs> Uh, nice and clean, says uh, Gemma mm. Rowe. Katie Price says simple but stunning. Mm. Um, uh, Ian Meadows asking, where in Cyprus you are from? Uh, so I'm half Cypriot, so I've always been UK, but my mum is uh, from Larnaca. There you go. Uh, Wayne saying, uh, looks like a packet of dryer freshener. Wipe oh dryer fresh fresh bleh, 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 dryer freshener wipes there you go <laughs> um and uh, yeah there you go Wayne says should come with a slogan keep your clothes smelling fresh for the outdoors and indoors <laughs> <laughs> um and yeah lots of people loving it and enjoying the the, the chat we had just then. Uh, about the the previous liveries, right? Out of ten, then, uh, Lewis, for the Cypress Airways. I'm going to be biased and give this a ten. Yeah, I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. I, I honestly, every every morning, I wake up and go on Instagram and see if they've released a picture of the A220 because I am going to be so happy when I see this in real life. I mm -hmm. just cannot wait. But yeah, this this will do for now. It's beautiful. Really like it. Um, also, Transatlantic Allison, good to see you in the chat. I also saw your comment about uh, the landings that I do, where it's uh, landings. Is that what you call them? Um, thank you so much for your support, as always. Uh, always very kind. You know, not 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 a bad word said <laughs> about any of my Hi, flights Allison. and stuff. You know, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> um, right, so 10 out of, yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, but no, good to see you. Hope you're well. Uh, 10 out of 10 um, from uh, Lewis, so let's take uh, that off screen. Right, let's have a look. We're going to kick it off with. Um, let's see, the first one that I see, we are going to go with Welshy Kev, who gives it a nine out of ten. Uh, and lots of high scores on this one. So we have Caitlin with a ten, Michelle saying stunning, ten again, Gail yeah. with a ten using the emoji, uh, Benny with a nine, uh, Max with a ten, Ali Cat with a ten, Sarah with a ten. Uh, Katie Price with a 10, Wayne with a minus five. <laughs> oh, Wayne, I don't believe you. I knew that. Well, Wayne, 
You were waiting I'm sure, for that I'm one. Sure, he doesn't mean it. <laughs> no, I know. Because <laughs> sure he, he knows it. it hurts so much in that one. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Knife to the heart. Thanks. Don't expect to see that spanner next week. <laughs> <laughs> no Rolex for you, boy. Yeah, no Rolex for you. <laughs> You've lost that privilege. Um, <laughs> Carl Crawford with a nine. Rob Brown with a six. Darren Smith says five out of ten for this, but ten out of ten for the former full green livery. Oh, yeah, but so rather than the Euro white, they had like a lighter green, didn't they, as well? Yeah, the A319 there. one is That's more sort of older, yeah. Um, they got rid of that. as uh, scrapped now, the A319. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Did it go to... Uh, went No, it went to a scrappage. Yeah, did it go uh, UK? Yes, it did. I think it went to Wales. Wales, so nothing. That's the one. Um, <laughs> Alison says it's the trainer in me. Just want to make a pilot out of you. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> uh, no, appreciate it. Thanks. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Wayne's also gone for a mint. <laughs> A mint fresh minus ten. Minus. <laughs> it's going all out now. Rotten, rotten. Uh, and I, th- well, I remember this. I think that is about that. I think so. That is the the Cypress Airways one. A very nice livery indeed. Mm. Um, also, stick around to the end. We have uh, the announcement for the quiz guests uh, for next week as well. Um, should be a lot of fun next week. Absolutely. Um, so we'll get to that very shortly. We've got one that Lewis has picked, and then we've got an honourable mention to throw in there as well. Um, so we're going to go for your final pick, which is oh, the lovely Edelweiss. I love it. Love it. It's On beautiful. the A340 as well, Chef's Kiss. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. You, it, it, it needs the A340. I mean, it's nice in the A330 and others as well, but it's just the the full spread of the A340, which just does it justice. Mm. It's beautiful. It's <laughs> got everything you like on it. The tail's amazing. The the, the nose is beautiful as well. Um, I'm a huge fan of it. Huge fan. Um, I like most Swiss airlines, actually, um, and their liveries. I've always find Swiss, Air, uh, Swiss is just more a very sort of basic one, but it's still nice and fresh. But this... When you see it in Zurich and you see it elsewhere, it's beautiful. Um, I don't think it comes to the UK though. Uh, otherwise, I don't. I don't know if it's is it Luton or I don't, I don't know if they ever actually do a, a UK flight. But um, yeah, they do. They, they do. do. They do with the three twenty, and yeah. it's down my neck of the woods in Newcastle. Ah, right. Um, seasonal flight in the. Summer, I think, right, the yeah, that comes be. in from Zurich. Nuki yeah. is very, uh, very popular. Yeah, it's with the it's a beautiful, beautiful one. I mean, it's not, it's not boring, and that's that gets the tick for me. Um, if I if I was going to be critical, I would like the engines to be in red. Ooh, okay, yeah, that is that is, or uh, or a different color. Not, but I just that's me. But I I do love it. It's fantastic. It's a it's a tough one because it's it's I think it looks quite nice even with the yeah I mean I mean I'll I've take seen it, it over the top yeah, like when you when you see like you know mm, yeah, dot spotting, yeah. when you see dot spotting and things like that um yeah. I bet it's you know it's lovely device. as a model as well Ian Meadows going for the uh, nuki nuki thing that we mentioned yesterday it does uh, that's all I can see now is literally nuki. <laughs> Ruined Nuki for me now. It's just Nuki. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be careful who I say that to as well. <laughs> Where would you like to go, Nuki? <laughs> don't say that on the streets. No, I don't, I don't think I will. No, thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> but yes, I think this is this is stunning. Uh, on the A3, they had it on the A330s. That I think they went back to Swiss, but the A340s mm. look absolutely yeah, actually- stunning. We were at uh, Zurich last month, but I, I don't actually remember seeing A330s anymore. I saw them on the first time. I mean, I've been to Zurich for uh, what was, was the third time now. Love the mm. airport. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't think I remember seeing an A330, actually, uh, now you mention it. Um, but it's it's really, really nice. Mm. Really nice. Of the... I think it was last year or something, they were subbing in for Swiss um, mm, on a few yes. flights as well. So they came yeah. into Heathrow a couple of times. Yeah. Um, that, did they do, um, 
did they have a couple at Lufthansa as well? Because obviously it's Luft- it's owned by Lufthansa Group. I think they moved a couple of belt. Possibly. During the COVID period. I can't remember what it was now. Quite um, possibly, yeah. Yeah, because uh, most of the Swiss airlines are owned by Lufthansa Group. So, mm. yeah. Gemma Rowe says the red tip gives off a Norwegian vibe. It does look a bit red nose. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does. It does. Right, have a think for the last livery. Uh, for you. I'm glad um, you picked this one last because it's a nice one to finish off with as well. I didn't pick it. The randomizer. No, but I'm glad it, it works out that way. Yeah. So I was like, okay, good shout. We'll go for it. Mm. Um, right. Let's have a look. 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 You lot being early night for Max. He has color by numbers class tomorrow. You lot are just, <laughs> you lot are something else. Um, Alison, big fan of the A34600, saying it would be even better on the uh, A34600. Mm. There are pictures, believe it or not. I'm certain there are. On the flight sim, again, believe it or not. Yeah, they didn't um, have any uh, 600s, did they? No. Um, let's see if I can find it. Because um, I know on, I think it's X-Plane, I think X-Plane 11, you could get the um, A34500 for the Edelweiss livery. Um, is it X plane? Oh, the uh, Tollis, I think. Toll, Tollis. Where are you at? I oh, will find it because there are pictures. I'm just trying to, not very good ones though, but there are there are Ooh. pictures. Uh, is this uh, that's a shame. Right, X, it? yeah, Jar yeah. Design A340 500. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, I can't show it off because it's not a decent picture. Someone's done it a 787 nice. in it. Yeah. As well. That extra right, we'll leave that then. I was hoping to find a picture, but obviously not. Um, all right. Uh, other than that, let's go through some more. Uh, Michelle Johnson says, uh, this is the jet I've been trying to make as a fabric panel uh, and didn't know it was this one with the three legs. Oh, that's the the undercarriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Linky was a big fan. That used to turn as well, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. It was uh, the middle one. Lots of people going for the uh, <clears throat> the love honey thing, saying that the red tip is showing. You lot are literally <laughs> going to get me suspended and banned. It's past <laughs> nine o'clock. <laughs> it is past nine o'clock. Yeah, screw it. <laughs> um. Yeah, lots of people, big fans of this. So, out of 10, then, uh, Lewis, for uh, your last one. Uh, we're going to finish up on a high because it's pretty. So, I'm going to say it's a nine. Pretty. So, a nine out of 10. <clears throat> nine out of 10 is good. I like that. Um, and apparently, lots of other people do as well. We're going to go for Michelle Johnson, uh, going for a 10, which is a very good shout. Uh, so, 10 for her. Uh, KT Price says, best of a bunch, 10 out of 10. Jim with a 10. Uh, Wayne agreeing as well. Carl going, Wayne, you feeling okay? Uh, <laughs> um, well, she Kev, four out of ten, not for me. Um, Allison, nine out of ten because it's an A340. Rob Brown with an eight. James Cridlin, good to see you. Says he's just woken up. Um, so good to see you. Hope you're uh, hope you're well. Um, Gemma Rose says, glad you won't get me on next time. It'll be full of the Pokemon Japanese liveries. It's fine. You're more welcome to come on if you like. <laughs> and just have those if you like. It's entirely up to you. Uh, Ken G, 10 out of 10. Max Jet TV Live with a 10. I'm assuming it's supposed to be out of 10. Uh, Caitlin with a 7. Uh, Debbie 13 with a 10. Gemma Rowe with a 10. James Cridden with a 5. Carl with an 8. Faring Travels with a 10 out of 0. I'm assuming it's probably about 10 out of 10. I might be wrong. Um, and Benny with a 10 out of 10 as well. Very good. Wonderful. All right. Happy days. So, oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, so they are, they are the picks for uh, Lewis. Um, how do you feel after the uh, the, the grilling that you've uh, you've just had? Uh, I, it, it went south in the middle. It was like a dip. It was. I think, yeah, we had a bit of a roller coaster. Uh, we started on a high, which I was surprised with, and but we've ended on a high, so I'm happy with that. So, yeah, no, been, been good. Been very good. Good stuff. Right, here is one for you all to digest for the honourable mentions. If you haven't seen it today, um, there is a brand new airline, a very pretty airline as well. Uh, the Riyadh Air 787 
uh, has been unveiled. This is the second uh, Saudi carrier uh, that will be based in the capital of Riyadh. And my word, NG models, if you're listening, you can <laughs> take my money. Take <laughs> my money now and give me this in model form. This is stunning. This may just be the best livery that's out there at the mm. moment. And it's not even flying at the moment, but this is absolutely, I mean, I've got, I can literally just pay it compliments the entire time. This is stunning. This is absolutely immense. Do we know a, a route yet, what they're planning to do? Uh, do you know, very good question. I did, I'm sure I spoke, uh, let's have a look. There is already a Wikipedia page for it, so that is what I will use. Um, Looks absolutely so stunning. they have an order of 39 787-9s. Wow. Uh, with an order of uh, 33 as options. Ambitious. Um, they are... <laughs> so it will operate really domestic fun. and international flights, including 100 different destinations in the Middle East, Africa, Asia, Europe, South America, and North America. They were founded two months ago. And they are planning to be the largest... Um, largest airline in the Middle East in terms of revenue. I mean, that's ambitious very when bold. you've got Emirates on the same continent. Yeah, very bold. That don't um, know if that's that will happen, but very bold. Yes, uh, Tony Douglas is the uh, the CEO. He previously served as the CEO of Etihad from mm. uh, January 2018 to October 2022. Mm. Uh, Riyadh Air is set to be a, in air quotes, world class airline and is expected to add twenty billion dollars to non oil GDP growth and create more than two hundred thousand direct and indirect jobs. That is a lot. Mm. <laughs> twenty billion dollars to the non-oil gdp growth um according to the history and this is another little bit of interesting news um march 2023 crown prince mohammed bin salman formally announced that the establishment of uh, uh riyadh and he said ryanair then <laughs> boy that's interesting uh riyadh air uh, the country's newest national airline. Two days later, it announced that the airline had ordered 39787-9s with an option for 33 more. The airline, and this is what I think is is going to be an interesting insight, the airline is will potentially go against Islamic beliefs and serve alcohol on board. Wow, that's that's very bold. Really. That, is uh, that is the yeah. boldest of bolds. From, that uh, could from the be dark. a make or break, really, for them. It could. It could. But this... This uh, this uh, this livery is, oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's, it's got a bit a of pretty livery. It, it, it's so nice, but it reminds me, dare I say it, of like BT Fiber. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking a packet of like Cadbury's chocolate or something. <laughs> yes, yeah. The font does look like the Cadbury, the uh, Cadbury's color, doesn't it? <laughs> Cadbury's, yeah. Cadbury's. Air. Very nice. Though. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Very look nice. at it. Oh, and blue is an interesting color because obviously that's one of the most heaviest of them all in paint colors as well. Is it blue or is it purple? It looks purple. Is it purple? I, I think it's that... purple. Purple with a light purple blue. tail. All oh, right, that is stunning against the blue sky. Oh, chef's kiss once again. Mm. Mm. Absolutely stunning. Fingers crossed that comes into Heathrow. Oh, be nice. It would be mm. fantastic. It's either that or they'll probably look at like Manchester. I imagine may possibly go and get it. Mm. But yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. I could look at it all day. Oh, it's hope they can do it. I'm, I'm totally giving this a ten. This is absolutely ten for me. Yeah, no, massive ten cool. out of ten. NG models make it, and I'll buy <laughs> multiples of them, and I'll give them to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful, so beautiful. Right there, you go. Everyone's loving it as well. I've looked at the chat now. The argument is whether it's blue or purple. Um, it, for me, it's definitely purple. I don't it's know. Got, I think it's it's that that color which changes. It's metallic, isn't it? yeah. yeah, it's metallic yeah. Color. Some parts of it looked a bit blue. Some parts of the mirror, the tail was a bit purple. So, Ian Meadows, imagine Lily Allen on the tail. I'll still <laughs> buy it. <laughs> I'd still buy it. It'd be even better, but I'd still buy it. <laughs> I'd still buy it. Oh dear. I will try and get a Lily Allen picture for the flight sim stream on Tuesday. That's all I'm going to say. And she can accompany us on our flight to Zurich. <laughs> all 
Right. Anyway, lots of people saying, yeah, tens and definitely purple. Excellent stuff. Right. Uh, let's get the reveal out of the way for Quiznish Jet 6. Uh, as you know, Noel Phillips is the current uh, reigning champion. Uh, and we're about to find out who he is uh, going to contend it, it uh, well, compete with to try and retain it. Uh, up on your screens now for Quiznish Jet 6. Here are your players. So we have uh, Matteo making a return. Uh, Matt Cochran uh, missed the show last time because the time difference uh, or the time went back or forward. I think the clocks went back in America or something mm. and he didn't realize they did. So he messaged me going, are we on in a sec? I said, no, we're already been on for an hour. So <laughs> so I'm I'm rest assured that he will be on this time. Uh, Darren Smith will be there. Of course, Jack's going to be there. And of course, and this is the, 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 the two I'm very much looking forward to because two pilots, different airlines, different UK airlines, Allison and Cat Burton. <laughs> who are also very good friends going head to head. I'm very much looking forward to that. Good lineup that. Very good that lineup. That is your lineup for Quiznis Jet 6. I'm very much looking forward to the battle between Allison and Kat. So very good lineup indeed. That'll be 7 o'clock next week for the uh, for that one. Wayne says what a lineup. Mm. <laughs> looking forward to that one. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Should be a lot of fun. Prepping it is not going to be fun, but it, no, shout it's out be to done. you on that. That's a lot of effort and It'll be fantastic stuff you do. All right. <clears throat> now, talking of uh, stuff that we do, uh, we haven't done something for a while. No, looking forward to this. We're doing it now. He's actually here with us. Hey, <laughs> as he always is now with the uh, with the show segment here. Jack I feel like we need to be upside down as well. <laughs> I can't turn mine upside down because I can't be bothered. <laughs> but uh, Jack, a very good evening to you. How are you? Fantastic, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very well, very well myself. Um, How has your weekend been? Uh, absolutely fantastic. Went to uh, Compton Abbas yesterday. Very very. Good place to go. Vintage flying, of course. Yep. Lots, of, uh, lots of um, what was it? The uh, I'm trying to think of what they were. Chipmunks and cubs. Tiger and moths. Sorts. Yeah, tiger moths. Everything else. And I've seen some pictures as well, which I did say I would show off, and I haven't got them ready. So, <laughs> but that's my fault. Just let me uh, let me grab uh, the ones that I was going to show. He says. So I'll be back, back down there again next week. Massive thing going on next week. That's those ones there. What's happening next week then? It's the uh, Spitfire Experience. Spitfire Experience. Very nice. Ooh. Very nice. Of course, we are not here for uh, aircraft now. Uh, we are here for your meals from the week. Now, we have three that we are showing. In, and uh, there was a, a photo that went into the, uh, the team chat uh, of Jack cooking pasta interestingly two types of pasta so i'm assuming you had two types of pasta for dinner this evening is that right no one oh you had what so what was the the uh the facility pasta with the spaghetti then oh no. was that for someone else yeah oh fair enough so what did you have just, just spaghetti on its own yeah no sauce jackie you, you turn us you cook for someone else as well it's <laughs> getting more <right> there. <laughs> no, there we go. Yeah, you're still alive, right? <laughs> right I'm, the first one. I'm gonna move myself down to the bottom because you don't need to see me, you can just see Jack and Lewis for their reaction. So, here comes your first one. Jack, tell us about this, right? So, so that is a uh, fusily with a uh, with a uh, mint, uh, used on my sauce in it as well. And cheese. Okay, so Lewis, I'm going to go for you first. Uh, what do you make of this? Uh, it's still not done. It's st <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've got the cheese, but 
I mean, it's got sauce, it's got cheese. It's just like an incomplete meal still. It needs to be cooked, Jack. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Bruce, thank you so much for the uh, the uh, gifted subs there. Uh, much, much appreciated. Um, Someone's put improving. I agree with that. It's, it is an improvement. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Definitely it is an improvement. improvement. Uh, Alison said that. I mean, she'll be very proud of you for the fact that there's an improvement. I'm liking the camera charger at the back as well. <laughs> you know how we were talking. To, you know how we were talking about um, uh, Edelweiss, and we were talking about the red tip poking out. <laughs> can you see it yet? Can you see it? <laughs> can you see I the can. socks? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. I was wondering where you were going with that one. Too. Red tip is <laughs> the red tip is full of yeah. No, thankfully, it's Jack's not that stuck. kind of person. <laughs> thankfully, Jack's not like that. Uh, <laughs> all right, Rob Brown says uh, packet of Rennies at the ready. <laughs> um, yeah, Alison's saying that uh, that uh, it's an improvement. Uh, Ian Meadows says that was for someone else, someone he doesn't like. <laughs> <laughs> and then backtracking by saying that that looks pretty good. Jack, I'm intrigued here. Are you, you know when you obviously eat it, is it quite hot to, to eat or yeah, you don't have to do you blow on it or is it that hot? Because I mean the cheese, I mean the cheese slightly melting there, isn't it? But yeah, it needs a microwave. <laughs> yeah, you need to. Um, you yeah, the, I mean, I do this by putting cheese on it and just leaving it as it is, but it melts so. <laughs> <laughs> That's I mean, the what's, difference. What's 30 seconds on the microwave? Just, you know, it's not that long. <laughs> or that, yeah. That's 30 <laughs> seconds, Jack, not 30 minutes. <laughs> no, it's not 30 minutes, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, she kept asking, um, why is the pasta and cheese the same colour? Um. <laughs> <laughs> and in the, Jack, in the most Jack way possible, the answer is, um... <laughs> uh, Gemma Rowe with a very good tip next time. Uh, Jack, and we're not talking about your sock either. Um, she says uh, the sauce and pasta needs mixing up, uh, and then sprinkle the cheese on top. It's not a bad shout, actually. Do you put parmesan as well on that, Jack? Have you got parmesan at all? Oh dear. Uh, as Le 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 Evans would say, say something about that. <laughs> you you uh, you know about you you know what parmesan is, right? Yeah, that's right then. <laughs> uh, in <laughs> tea. I know what Lee Evans says about Parmesan. Oh, yes. It's after the watershed. You're allowed to say it. <laughs> oh, right. dear. As long as it's not got the C word in it, then don't say it. Uh, <laughs> Katie Price saying it has some colour. Uh, Mrs. Freddie Mercury, who I know has been dying for this segment to come back, so hopefully you're enjoying this. Uh, she says it looks cold. It's, this is my point. Yeah. Yes. This is my point. You can normally tell when something's piping hot, but that doesn't look like it's piping hot. Um, yeah. Has it been sitting out for a long time? A week. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Lots of people saying, well done for using saw scale so as you're getting there. Yeah, I Gemma mean, the Rose sauce is looking decent, tip. to be fair. Gemma Rose laughing at the red tip. <laughs> Benny's asking what the purple thing is, Jack. Oh, that's a, a bottle opener. Yeah. A bottle opener. That's right. I thought it was like a carving knife to kind of <laughs> cut your food up with. Congealed. Um, Michael Painter says, um, I need Jack to come and cook for me. I need to go on a diet and lose some weight. <laughs> You'll be on a toilet a long time there. Oh, dear. Um, Bruce, uh, again on fire. Uh, is that thing above the plate from Ann Summers? <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Uh, we're all thinking it. He said it. <laughs> now that you look at it, and if I take the comment off screen, you got red tip and love honey. <laughs> this uh, ain't no food no more, people. <laughs> uh, brilliant. Uh, Wayne Hartshorn asking, did you eat it with a snow shovel or a fork? Fork. The fork. <laughs> um, Gail's saying, remember the uh, garlic, sorry, remember garlic butter, 20, 30 seconds for Doble's Jack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, very good very good uh, <laughs> Gemma Rowe that's, that's fantastic where is it there it is she said trust me it's not from Man Summers <laughs> <laughs> well this is taking a massive turn <laughs> love that though uh, <laughs> Jim Jack, you have a lot Jim, of pasta. <laughs> 
Jim, Max now asks, who's Ann Summers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you're telling me, Jim, you don't know what Ann Summers is. <laughs> Max now asks, who is she? <laughs> an airline. Who is she? Who is she? Oh, dear. <laughs> Alison says, uh, I don't know what you're buying in Ann Summers. I think that's from there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dearie me. I like it. Right, from uh, from pasta to pizza. That's not bad, to be fair. This is so underdone for me. <laughs> right. The, the base is slightly, but it's cooked. I, I class this as cooked. The best thing is it's got no pineapple, so it's a win for me. That That dough is screaming out for an Italian man to continue spinning it. <laughs> Mamma mia, it is not done yet. <laughs> I think that's not bad. I'll be honest. Uh... Jack has left. I don't know why Jack left. He'll probably come back in a minute. <laughs> oh, dearie me. <laughs> yes. Uh, Gemma Rowe says that bit, bit raw pizza. Benny says cheese. Um, oh, he's back. He's here. Oh, There he is. Let me move him up. There he is. Um, Domino's are shitting themselves, says Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Domino's are probably kind of leaving themselves at the moment. There's no competition there. <laughs> That's it. They've looked at that and gone, we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Welsh Kev says the red tip is showing again. <laughs> See you shorts as well there, Jack. Oh, yeah. Boy, I hope that's a leg. Summertime. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Carl Crawford saying pavement pizza. Um, Alison starting it. Oh, Alison, what have you done? Hang on, pineapple is allowed on pizza. Let's not go. Let's not go there. <laughs> nope. Let's not go there. Um, Mrs. Free Mercury says, Sorry, but the dough still, still looks uncooked. Uncooked. It's... It's... Oh. Oh. Jack, Jack, no, no. I'm just yeah, going to mute him there. very quickly because. <laughs> Struck out of nowhere. He's gone again. Go. <laughs> um, Gemma I Rowe. I'd eat that though. I still, I still class that. If I was dead. Do you know what? I'm, 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 in, I'm envisioning it, and I can, I imagine eating it. I bet it's soggy as anything. I mean, it's probably cold, like in the center. But oh, I bet it's like, it's like eating mashed potato or something, or just oh, it's just. <laughs> yeah. If you've been blocked for a few days, this is what you eat. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can uh, say. That's that's calling Dino Rod than that one. <laughs> Bruce says Tom, that was a good imp impression of uh, of Benny. Was that the Italian thing? <laughs> Mamma mia, it is not a done yet. <laughs> Jack's back, <laughs> and it's still an echo. I think. No, we're good. We're all good. Jack, stop leaving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carl Crawford going for the soggy bottom. <laughs> Uh, Max is asking you, Jack, if uh, you can go to his house uh, to... Uh, oh, just basically, can you go to his house one day? No. Okay. <laughs> Short and sweet. I like it. Well, it's direct. <laughs> yeah. Not even a maybe. It's just more of a no. Ian Meadows, like eating a tramp's insole. <laughs> Michelle Johnson, that'll clean you out. <laughs> Alison says... Uh, That'll keep the seagulls away. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I like it. Right. And then from pizza, we move on to... I don't even remember what this one is. Okay. Oh. A little bit better. A little bit better. I don't think I can slag this off. What is this, please, uh, Jack? So that's barbecue chicken wings and egg fried rice. There you go. Barbecue chicken and egg fried rice. Rice. Lewis, thoughts on this? Where's the sauce? Where's the sauce? Where's the sauce? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, I mean, it, it's marinated, so, you know, marks for that, but it looks very dry. It would, it would need extra. Um, it need an extra drink. Extra, extra, yeah, extra bit of sauce, I think. Yeah. Caitlin says, with milk. <laughs> with milk. <laughs> There's milk there. Jack, what's what's all that about? I, I did that with westerns. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me! You chose that over westerns, honestly. I've only just noticed that milk. How can you have that with milk? 
James Cridlin says chicken and lice. <laughs> 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 Ali Cat says the word dry comes to mind. Is that an Uncle Ben special rice? Yeah, what was the rice, Jack? Yeah, it was uh, Uncle, Uncle Ben. ben. <laughs> 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 oh, like brilliant. fantastic <laughs> Carl Crawford said the rice is so dry oh my god uh, Michelle Johnson says poor Jack we got colour but raw <laughs> so how, how long in the microwave then Jack two minutes for the uh... chicken about <laughs> 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 oh, half hour for the rice <laughs> Uh, when it's screaming, it's done. <laughs> oh dear. Ian Meadows, uh, did did he take the bones out? Yeah, yeah. Katie Price asking, "Where's the wings?" <laughs> oh dear. Wayne Hartshorn, uh, going for um, people starving, third world oh. country Sunday, no longer hungry. Watching this. <laughs> Oh, Wayne, that's, that's harsh. harsh. That's, that's savage. That's harsh. I, I'd like to say that about your bank, but I wouldn't dare. <laughs> oh, Bazinga. Oh. Shots have fired. Shots have definitely fired. <laughs> Love that. Uh, Cook off between uh, Jack and Wayne. <laughs> uh, Alison says, well, it's definitely an improvement from some of the early... You can't see me do it, but food. <laughs> I mean, it's cooked, so I'll give it that. It's just the sauce for me. Just need a bit more sauce and you'll yeah, be fine. That would be yeah, a decent a bit more meal. sauce and you'll be fine with that. Yeah. All right. There you go. That That's all we've got because uh, there's probably other meals there that Jack thought were so bad. He didn't send them. So. <laughs> <laughs> didn't disappoint, no. Didn't disappoint. Didn't disappoint. So that is for another week at least uh, the uh, Jack's Cooking School segment. He's even put in the face there. Look, love it. <laughs> All right. Let's end with a little bit more <clears throat> of a, a positive side to things. So Jack mentioned that he had gone to um, Compton the Bass, was it? Is that the word? Yeah, Compton the Bass. Compton yeah. the Bass for the vintage fly. And here are a couple of Jack's photos. Here's the first one. Oh, wow. Stunning little aircraft. Yeah. Tiger Moth. Yeah. Beautiful aircraft. Managed to get up close to one of these up at uh, Bodmin when they did their um, uh, strut flying, they call it, I think, or something like that. I got invited up there and uh, managed to get up close. And, a little bit, not personal, but up close to the, the Tiger Moth. And it is a stunning, stunning plane. Was that landing or taking off there, Jack? Uh, that was landing. Yeah, that's lovely, that is. Let's have a look and see. Yeah, lots of people loving it. Mrs. Freddie Mercury is left now that the segment's done. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for popping in. Um, got a wedding to plan. We'll see you. I haven't got the. Hang on, the sound effects. That'll be on Tuesday. <laughs> That'll be on Tuesday. Uh, Ali Cat says, "Jack, you're a trooper. Thanks for the laughs." <laughs> yeah, you are a legend for doing that, Jack. But um, yes, yeah, cracking photo. That love that yellow color as well. The the, the scenery in the background just makes makes Compton Abbas one of the best I've mm. seen for a. Chef kiss. <laughs> um, yeah, fantastic stuff. Um, another one of your photos coming up now. Oh, wow, I can't figure out what that what that was actually. <laughs> that doesn't look like a British plane. Mm. Somebody will know what that is. Someone's very clued up. But uh, yeah, lovely, lovely aircraft that as well. Where was that, Jack? That was a uh, Compton Abs as well. Wow. Yeah, same place. Same place yeah, as no. the, uh, the the other ones. And another one of the Tiger Moth that I've got as well coming up. That's a good one. That, that is really nice. That's, that's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, for, for an old aircraft, I say it, she, she does look gorgeous. Well maintained, ain't she? Yeah. 
Mm-mm. Just gonna have a look at what that uh, aircraft was before. Uh, oh, it's not. It's not an English aircraft at all. It is the Zlin Z three twenty six Trenner Master, which I think is from Czech Republic. I think. Ooh. Very nice aircraft too. Where mm. have I seen that before? Yeovilton is where I've seen that. Yeah, Yeovilton is where I've seen that. Oh, oh, is it like a um aerobatic plane? Is also a little bit. I think it's a trainer plane. So I think it is. Yeah, a Zlin Zlin. Z three two six trainer yeah. master yeah. Um. Yeah, base in base over here. It's a lovely thing. It really is. Yeah, lovely plane. Um. I'd love to have a go on a on a tiger moth. I really really would. You can book experiences, and I'd love to. I'd love to do it. I really really would. But some fantastic photos there, Jack. Very, very nice. Yeah, lovely. Good stuff. All right, I'm going to move myself back up there. Uh, right, yeah, wonderful stuff. So uh, that is uh, the not the end of the show, but we are closing the uh, the show. Um, hopefully, <coughs> everyone's had a lot of fun. We've had a lot of fun laughing and joking around and lots of love, honey, talk and everything else. <laughs> um, and Jack's red tip. But other than that... <laughs> Other than that, it's been a lot of fun with the uh, deliveries and stuff. Like I said, the quiz is next week. So, um, yeah, looking forward to that a lot. If you missed it and you're just joining, here is your lineup. So, Matteo, uh, Champion Noel, Matt Cochran, uh, Darren Smith are our very own Jack. And then the two friends face off against each other with Cat Burton and Allison uh, completing the lineup for Quizness Jet 6. All righty. Part of the show, we will do some shout outs now. So, if anyone has any shout outs in the chat, get them in, show them off, and uh, we'll show them on screen. Show them off, uh, get them in, and I'll show them off. Um, as we do ours, Jack, I'm going to start with you first. Uh, no problem. Some shout outs. Uh, I just just want to thank um, you, you two for, for being absolutely brilliant again. Obviously, to the uh, chat, you you guys are always what, what make this uh, show, show what it is. As in the community, we love you. Uh, to, to the mods as well. Uh, Wayne, your, your wallet's going to uh, impound very soon. Um, and that, well, just to um, just to everyone out there, you guys have been brilliant. And thank you. Good stuff. Over to you, Lewis. Yeah, just to say massive thank you to you, Tom, as well, for having me on. Uh yeah, Pleasure. thank you very much. It's been a real fun as well. Not too savage as I thought it'd be. So that's a good <laughs> Uh Thank you to everyone in the chat. Jack, legend as always, for uh, taking on the comments as always and uh, roasting of you guys and not much roasting in your plate. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, and huge thank you to all the mods and all the uh, you know London Plainsporting group as well. Thank you for that. And for every West Ham fan, for uh yeah you know it jack for wednesday come on you irons <laughs> <laughs> very good very good uh yeah so shout out to lewis for uh taking part in this like i say it's not as scary as people think it is um but it's uh it's, it's always good fun you know concept of the show is always good thinking about changing up a little bit that, that'll be revealed in 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 time but um yeah just you know, thank you to, to Lewis and you, Jack, for as, as you know, as I say, continuing to be a wonderful sport with the with the cooking show and you know the cooking show, the cooking segment rather, um, and uh, and everything else. But uh, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing, Jack, because like I say, it will it will happen. You know, over time, and eventually, everything's very you know very much a slow burner when it comes to setting up your own YouTube and things like that. So keep going at it, stick at it, and yeah, you'll uh, you'll you'll get there, get there eventually. Um, and to everybody in the chat, um, for uh, like I say, um, for for just making the show what it is. I say it week in, week out, but the show's not the same without you lot participating as well. So I could sit here, Ian could sit here, Steve could sit here, we could have Jack, Lewis, whoever as a guest. That the show is not made by us; it's made by you lot that view it. Um, and the fact that you guys enjoy it is uh, is is enough for us to keep going. <clears throat> Um, but uh, but yeah, it's just 
yeah, just it's wonderful, just absolutely wonderful. Um, so yeah, so just one quick reminder because <clears throat> I know uh, Welshie Kev mentioned it. Uh, do check out the merch in the uh, description below. Like I say, if you do fancy some of that, um, you can um, get you it with twenty percent off. off. Oh, oh, now with their code, did mute that very much? <laughs> um, but yeah, so like I say, if you do fancy a bit of that, uh, have a look in the uh, shop after the show and uh, get twenty percent off for the next forty-eight hours. All that's left for us to say, providing there's not an echo from Jack's end. Boo. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> um, uh, Jack, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so we're going to say our goodbyes now, but uh, back on Tuesday for London Heathrow to Zurich on the flight sim, which will be a lot of fun, no doubt. Um, that may change if I'm working late. Just that's For now, that's just what's happening. So until then, uh, we're going to say our goodbyes. So Lewis, if you want to say goodbye to those that are still watching, Yep, take care, guys, and have a fantastic rest of the week. So, take care. Uh, your next stream, by the way, just to promote it out. Uh, next stream is going to be probably Saturday um, at Heathrow. There you go. Tune in. Uh, obviously, details will go up, I'm sure, on your channel yeah, and things like yeah, that. We'll so, keep an eye out. There. Keep an eye out for them. So, I'll uh, yeah, we'll see you soon, Lewis. And like I said, you're allowed. You can come back on whenever you you know maybe you fancy it. Sort of one of us now. So. Love it. Yeah, thank <laughs> you very much. It's been great. No worries. Uh, Jack is here. Not for very long. Jack, you want to <laughs> say goodbye to those that are still here? Right, no problem. Thank you so, so much, guys, for watching. And um, have, have uh, make this week your own. And uh, looking forward to uh, what, what's going to be coming ne next uh, Saturday. So keep tuned and love you guys. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. All that's left for me to say is thank you for watching the show. Um, yeah, Tuesday's when we're back for the flight sim and Thursday, and then Sunday is the quiz. Saturday, we're also back in the evening for some more party time for the for, for the sim. But until then, uh, take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful start to the week, uh, and I'll see you on Tuesday for some more flight sim fun. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>